It is Mike Kelt, the show. It's 102.5 The Bone. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. We are coming to you live. How's everybody doing today? Good. Good, 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 good. What's wrong with me, Galvin? What's wrong with you? I mean, do you have... Uh, we only have four hours. I have a specific oh. question. Oh, okay. I wasn't just asking for Gotcha. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> I was excited Friday night. Friday is my birthday. Yeah. I don't really care. Like, when you get old, it's like, oh, no, my birthday. You know, give me gifts, treat me right. But it's just an excuse for us to do something and hang out and go out, you know? Right. Oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> 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 I already know where this is going. Canceled. Yeah. 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 So long, Scott Stapp. Uh, we'll see you next time. I woke up this morning and I was like, man, I don't want to go to a concert. <laughs> I don't know. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I, I love Creed. And I just thought about, I was, I don't know. I just thought about going and the being hassle. hot. The hassle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. I knew it. Here's the thing. Is <laughs> the hassle. once you're there, it's totally fine. And the hassle isn't the hassle. You can I describe yeah. what's gonna happen? So I will know what time Creed starts. Okay. So we don't have to worry about three doors down. Well, you're, or... you're jumping the gun. Oh. There's already problems beforehand. Oh, oh no. Oh, Sprinter right. won't be ready. Oh. oh what? Yeah. Oh, you'd have to drive in a regular car? Yeah, yeah. Carmen, but that oh. be that, you know... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I it's not the matter of driving. It's a matter of drinking and driving. Mm. So do you understand? You could, like, I have not had alcohol. I have not had a drink in a long time. I was planning on drinking a little this Friday night. Oh, You got you follow mm. my plan? So right but, away, some of that has already been... Uber. I was going to say, you know, they have other uh, things. I mean, you know, not Sitting even... somebody's Corolla no, from no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not talking Uber or Lyft. I'm talking about Corolla. renting, a, you know, a Sprinter. I mean, there is black. I could go I could go the black route and get a Sprinter um, from... from uh, have, uh, have that pick us up. So that... All right, so we get blacked. Black gets a Sprinter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what's wrong with the Sprinter? different black than you're used to, Carmen. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. The Sprinter um, is the upholstery was all peeling off. And it looked terrible. Right. So um, we brought it in to get fixed. And when they took everything off, they realized that the air conditioning wasn't draining well. And it was going back into the vehicle and rotting the wood out. So they had oh, to replace no. all the wood inside. Oh. Yeah. Listen to me. Everything in my life all broke in the same week. The Sprinter went out. My pool was broken. Uh, what was it? The projector broke. Yeah. It was just a. It was just a bad week. And now, now everything is getting fixed, which is costing me thousands and thousands of dollars. But uh, you know, it's ruining my plans. I couldn't watch. I haven't watched one football game yet in the theater that I've been looking forward to for the whole year. Um, thank, thank God, Andy came over and fixed the pool in five minutes. You had to drive yourself to the tailgate. <sighs> It was, it, was, it was. I gotta tell you, it was traumatizing. Yeah. On the way out, the police they they gave me a hard time about pulling back out into the street. I go, I, I gotta get out. How do I get out? What do I do? Yeah. And they're like, well, the traffic pattern changed. I go, I, I still gotta get out. I can't. You know, Tom. When Tom's there, we never had that. Don't worry, boss. I'll get you out. And he gets me out with no problem. And I mean, brisket watching the game in the sprinter. I mean, I'm a, I've grown accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All right, so let's just say we <laughs> rent a sprinter. Okay. Then we go in. We get pulled right up to the back. Right. I don't know. The, I'm here now. Mm. I'm here now. There's some problems with that. No. A creed has uh, control of security, and they can't oh. guarantee you the the pit. The the pit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know about that. But yeah, I'm oh, saying as far as getting, getting in, in. Yeah, yeah, we're right there. We're right there. Okay. We're totally fine. All right. Then we go in, hang out, do whatever we want because we're going in, and it's gonna be. Around him, damn, do me sound home. Right. You bring me back around. You bring right. me back around. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know, we go, all right, thanks, guys. High five. And we uh, get back out in the sprinter and head over to Hard Rock. Bob Murray oh. is ready to rock out at the Hard Rock. Yeah, let's do it. Because I'm going to Hard Rock Saturday, too, which is fine. I don't mind going to Hard Rock two days in a row. That doesn't bother me. What do you got Saturday? Saturday, we're just going to dinner and we're going to oh, okay. take some of their money. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you right. stay at the Hard Rock? Yeah. Uh, because I don't know, because it costs twelve hundred dollars a night. That is true. Yeah, I, mean, I I don't know who stays at the Hard Rock. It, it, it's, I'm it's always amazed because I will see like families there. Yeah, and I go, how much money are you wearing Crocs? How much money <laughs> you're wearing? Yeah. Like I I think the same thing. I I uh, I make a decent salary a year, and I go to the casino and I'm like. 
I've got five hundred dollars to, to to gamble with. And once it's gone, it's gone. You know. And then I see people over there with just mountains of chips and stacks that they look like they were wearing t-shirts and dirty. And I'm like, what are you yeah. guys doing? Dude, but then, I, but I I can't spend more than that five hundred dollars because I'm worried about putting my kids through college and uh, you know living a retired life and traveling when I'm older. I think those people are like. Come on, baby. Mama don't need to go to college and just throw in the dice. <laughs> so uh, whenever I taught a bartending class, I would tell the people, I would say, listen, you never know who is going to be the big tipper. You could yeah. think that the guy that has the embroidered shirt and he's got his initials on it and he's got a Rolex that you've never seen before. And you're like, well, that Rolex is one of a kind from the future and this, and that, whatever. And he'll give you 50 cents on a drink. <laughs> and then the guy will Wait, come in. one of a kind from the future. Rolex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that nice. Joe's and, got a Rolex and he's a loser. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Are you wearing it now? He yeah. stole it from a lady. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. That's nice. clearly a lady's watch. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> and then you'll see the other guy who's got like overalls and a hook in his hat, you know, yeah. and he tips you 20 bucks on a Budweiser and you're like, uh, yeah. you never know. Hmm. I, I told you, I saw a guy, I came up to the table, open table, nobody there. And then I noticed there was chips on the table and I asked the dealer, I go, what's going on? And he goes, the guy just ran to get some, uh, more money out of the ATM and stuff. And I go, oh, okay. So I back up. I don't want to crowd anybody or be anything, whatever. This guy walks up and he's got two stacks. He's splitting oh, aces. Oh, no. He's got two stacks. I mean, thousands of dollars each stack, whatever. And he does it. He loses both and he smacks the table and he yells and this, that, and throws down thousand more dollars, thousands. Right. And the guy does it, whatever. And he does like a couple of hands and then puts it all on one hand and loses and starts yelling and walks away. And I was like, you should not be gambling no, that much. Yeah, if no. that's me, if that, that guy has explained something to somebody, right? Yeah. yeah. But, but also just a dude in jeans and a t-shirt. Like you have no idea who has the money and who doesn't But yeah, it, it's, it's expensive for sure. It seems like a lot of retirees out there. A lot of people retired, just got money to blow. That would be I, me and Amanda. Yeah. I saw a video of a lady and the guy was, asking, and she was literally on the slot machine doing this. Yeah, just hitting it, just, just rolling, 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 yeah. rolling, rolling. Max and the guy goes, uh, how, how often do you come here? And she goes, oh, I'm here every day. And he goes, how much money would you say you've won or lost and stuff? And she goes, oh, I've easily lost $3 million. Million. Oh, three million. Why yeah. would you be there? What's yeah. the fun of it? <laughs> My, uh, it it, every once in a while, you hit yeah. a cherry and it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Man. It, it's fun time. But uh, there was a time I was out in Vegas and there was a guy on a cell phone. And you could like over here. He, of course, he's talking super loud. And he's like, yeah, no, it's not going great. Don't tell my wife. No. Yeah. She's going to be here on Thursday. Right now, I'm only down 1.2, but I think I'm gonna make oh, it back. <laughs> and I was like, and I'm sitting in line waiting for a, like a slice of pizza. I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, we went we went one time to uh, to Vegas, and uh, I don't know if you remember this guy Ross Verba. He used to play for the Packers. White guy. It sounds familiar. Yeah, he was a long time. He wasn't a great player, but he used to play for the Packers. And he was sitting at the table, and he was getting his ass handed to him. Just but and you could tell he's not like super rich, but he was just losing, losing. He was down like forty grand, yeah. and he was he was drunk and having a fun time. And then we left and uh, came back, and he was still at the table, and he was about to get up. And when he got up, they wanted to color him up, and he said no, and he took all his chips. Ah. So he carried all of his chips in his arms like yeah. this. They were falling off oh. the side, and he carried them all to the window and just dropped them all. It was great. He had come back. He, he was end up like over, up over a hundred grand. It was so funny. But he was he was loving life that day, man. It was it was so much fun when you don't care. It's, yeah. it's a lot easier. I know? saw a video of the uh, guy uh, from. Uh, Barstool, I think, and busting with the boys, whatever, yeah. or Dana White in uh, in Vegas, and they're uh, playing blackjack. And these guys, there was some, you know, that obviously have money. Some that, you know, five thousand dollars was all they had in the war. Right, like right. that was her whole thing. And Dana White was telling them what to do. So they'd be like, Brian, are you gonna do it? And he's like, All right. Uh, and he puts his, puts five thousand yeah. dollars on one hand. And he's like, do this. All right. And he goes, all right, you're going to stay there whatever. And then the dealer turns over a bus card and they go crazy. Uh, and he goes, push it. And the guy's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> and he goes, push it, whatever. And then he wins again. So this guy's got 20 grand yeah. now. And he's like, oh my God, that's the most exciting thing in the world. Yeah. You know? I, I saw that video at the beginning. Danny goes, how much do you want to win? Yeah, exactly. And the guy's like, uh, 45,000. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, let's go. You're also <laughs> dealing with a guy, with a guy who bets $200,000 yeah. on one yeah, hand, yeah. you know, uh, and has it to back it up. 
his guy Nick, who is his his guy at Caesars, mm-hmm. uh, is from Tampa. Oh yeah. So uh, we're friends on Facebook. So I see a lot of the things that Dana does. You know, a lot of his gambling and all that stuff on there. And uh, I don't know. It's he's he lives a fun life. Dana White. Yeah, he's uh, you know he goes and he does the rip and run. He goes, I have a number in my head, and if I make it, he goes, I, I might play four hands. Yeah. He goes, but also I won eight hundred thousand dollars in those four hands or whatever. But he said that he had one of those like little outside of Vegas or wherever it was casino that said, uh, yeah, we'll uh, you know give you whatever four million dollar credit or whatever it is. And he goes, and then whenever they I got there, it wasn't, you know, oh, what they really? said. Yeah. And he goes, so just BS. And I left and he goes, he goes, they don't want me to beat them and do that, but they want to try and get me out there. Right. And, right, yeah. right. Yeah, that's crazy. Now I want to go back. All right. So, so we're going, now you, you guys brought me back around. Yeah. That's what I was hoping you would do. And I appreciate what's wrong with the, <laughs> what's wrong with the, uh, the pit situation. You're talking about the, uh, Hey, Ian the passes text, and stuff. Ian just texted me and said Ross Verber was a very good player. <laughs> I, I didn't mean I didn't mean his playing skill. I just meant like popularity wise. I, I, what's that? Prominent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I take I take that back, Ian. What now? Say that again. I'm sorry. What's wrong with the uh, pit? You're saying like with the passes? I or? have seats. Okay. And uh, I I was told that the passes may not work because Creed Security runs the pit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seats. I know. Well, you know, it's uh. I don't know. It's gonna be a good good time. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna go. No, no, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. <laughs> You're not going. I got a whole group of people going. <laughs> Without you. Listen, <laughs> you cackling wench, you. Um, no, no, I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, and then we're gonna go to the Hard Rock after, and we're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Good time. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of time to change <laughs> your mind. <laughs> it's only Wednesday. What? I don't like it here. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We're ready to party. It's your birthday. Right whatever you want to do. Anyway, that's happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been looking at uh, all the Vegas stuff because I'm planning to go to Vegas in October. Yeah. That'll be fun. Go see the Steelers. Are you going to go to the Sphere? Uh, you I should. don't know. Dude, if you have an opportunity, because they show shows like movies in there. And yeah. Not like movies, but like movies that they made for the Sphere. You should go do it. You should, I'm telling you right now, like, that's how good it was. Yeah. Yeah. I watched a, a little bit of the pay-per-view on TV last night so I could see what it looked like. For it's, it looked fantastic, but it's nothing compared to seeing them when you walk in there. And the idea that, like, when you walk past it on the outside, it looks like a black circle. And then when you get close to it, I thought it was, like, digital panels. It's just these little round circles. Yeah. And it's how that is doing everything, I, I don't understand. Then the inside, they just have this. I don't know. I can't even. Do, it's like a hologram of the logo of the UFC. I oh. put it up on Instagram. It's it's amazing. Uh, Gordon Ramsay was. He was there. sitting next to me. Okay, like, like in the section next to me. Okay, and uh, he had video, and there was like a thing floating in front yeah. of him. It looked like yeah. it was. It just actually floating. like you could grab the. Yeah. It was like a ball. Yeah. It was floating in front of him. Uh, the other thing that made me think about that was uh, Gordon Ramsay being there. Is how many people. Does Dana White have to deal with winning tickets? Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Interesting Think of because all the celebrities, all the different people, all the athletes, all the TV, movie, Trump. this, that. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Uh, and Trump was in Vegas. We thought for sure he was going to be there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I uh, don't like Mexicans though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. The uh, <laughs> he puts the no and no check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the floor was all UFC fighters, their families. And A list ish celebrities, A list for UFC. You know, yeah, right? yeah. Steve O was down there. Those those types of people. Um, uh, Schultz, Andrew Schultz was there. Andrew Schultz is such a nerd. During the fight, you could see him behind videoing on his phone behind uh-huh. the fighters in the in the thing. Um, Gordon Ramsay was up on my level, sitting to my right, uh, which were not good seats. So how do you tell Gordon Ramsay I'm putting you up there in the in the crap seats? You know? Yeah. I don't know. We we had pretty crappy seats com- for uh for ufc but i would imagine for anything else in the sphere it's it's fantastic do you think for a concert that'd be all right or it would be it's a little for a concert it's a little high up but if i went to go see u2 and the u2 experience and, and which incorporated all the stuff on the screens and right. stuff i think i would I, I would enjoy it yeah yeah although i have to imagine that if you're down on the bottom and look it up and see all that stuff's probably pretty cool too. yeah yeah we just have to go back Okay. All right, I'm in. But I would not. I will not see the Grateful Dead. 
Uh, oh, good morning, Amanda Pappas. Uh, yeah. Go see Creed there. I would not go see <laughs> When you do that, it brings me in. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, Sounds good. Uh, I broke down yesterday, Galvin. Uh-huh. I uh, announced on YouTube yesterday in the afternoon that I am doing a podcast with my wife on Monday. I have not. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're laughing at. What are you laughing at? Nothing. You shut your mouth, goddammit. <laughs> Uh, I, she is, she wants to do it. And I said, all right, we'll do it. So, uh, Monday after the show on YouTube, me and my wife will be doing a podcast together an aptly named show, me and my wife show. <laughs> How long does this last? This is, I, listen to me, 40 minutes and done one and done. Uh, worse question carmen is uh how long does this last or how long until this takes over and then we're just uh, he doesn't do the show anymore and no, then we're out. Like, uh, yeah. Like, yeah well this Sorry. took off the, yeah the wife thing was really Mike, now i'm riding her coattails yeah. so mike's it. doing uh podcasts with his wife i'm just doing solely doing gambling yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a happy future for all of us spanish uh, is just sad weirdos yep. yeah Joe, you'll somewhere. still be here though <laughs> thank you Mike. don't worry about Gio it goes back to his other job pretty yeah. much <laughs> Job is the guy at the job. casino. That I'm here every day. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen becomes assistant coach. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Carmen is assistant coach. I know, but like no, no title. Official. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. she's team mom for sure. Yeah. I, I saw it firsthand. I'll take it. I'm fine with it. I yeah. like it. Everybody's coming be. up to her. Is it? She's got a lot of stuff going on. It's crazy. My mom was team mom when I played little league, and my uh, coach was a mob guy, like a legit mob guy, not uh, just some tough guy who looks. He, he didn't even look like that. He, his family was deep mob. Like you could Google it and see it now. I, and so, in my first year of playing little league baseball, I was seven years old, and we had seven years old. You wore sweatpants and a t-shirt. We had full uniforms. We had white socks with the stirrups and the pants and the whole thing. And then when we won, which we won the championship for El Dorado, that was the name of our team, the, the restaurant, the El Dorado restaurant. Um, when we won the championship, we had our celebration at the El Dorado restaurant. Where it was just like a mob hangout. It awesome. was so funny. Like I look back at it now and I just laugh, and I'm pretty sure my mom was banging the guy. My mom was team mom. Yeah. And then the best is we had this was so long ago in the seventies that we had um dugouts and there was no bathrooms or anything. When you had to pee, you just go behind the dugout and you pee. It's just, that was it. That was just a rule. You just stand behind the dugout and you pee. Hell yeah. That was it. Why yeah. not? I don't know. What was uh Sandra Bullock's character in Blindside? Lee? Angry Mom. What was their last name, though? It was Leanne. Is it Tui? Tui. Tui. Yeah. Tui. Tui? Yeah. That's Carmen from now on. Right. We'll just call, <laughs> it, we'll just call yeah. you Leanne. Please don't. <laughs> That's my friend's name. Your, <laughs> name. your new name is Hawk Tui. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're blindside. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll just that. call her blindside. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's keeping me from drinking. I can honestly <laughs> say that. All right. It really is. It's I mean. A thing. Well, yeah, it is. It, you know, listen, I used to I enjoy. Just, I can't wait until they win the championship and ESPN does a 30 for 30. <laughs> Little did they know they were saving her from being an alcoholic. <laughs> yep. She's crying, talking about, I haven't had a drink. The, making... Then they cut to the videos of Carmen in the match potato wrestling. Yeah. 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 Stuff. She lived a wild lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. went from Before. wrestling and mashed potatoes to making mashed potatoes <laughs> for the team. <laughs> <laughs> the same amount. <laughs> in the same pool in which she wrestled, she stirred it up every week for the kids. <laughs> I can't wait until they find out you're putting steroids in the chicken. Oh. No. No. Do not say that. It's not true. They have uh, not won a game in three years. Uh, but then the mashed potatoes. Carmen, who is this call that's been calling all morning? For Sporkle. For, for but I mean, like, since the intro is on. Yes. All right. Don't get mad at me. I was uh, asking a question. Yeah, I'm telling you. All right. I feel like you're a little bit edgy today. No, you asked me a question. I said, there's for sport call. It's them because I keep telling them it's not time. And then they call, is it time? Is it time? Is it time? L listen, I was. I remember when I was a kid, I thought you called to request a song that you keep recalling. Like, call, can you play Sissudio by Phil Collins? And they're like, yep. And they hang up. And then you call back, can you play Sissudio by Phil Collins? And they're like, I just told them I thought that's what you do. You call the radio station and tell me what you want to hear. And the guy How yelled, old were you? Oh, probably like eight. Okay. And, and the guy yelled at me, and I was still traumatized by oh. it. Yeah. Like, I, I remember... He was like, you just called. I just told him. I was like, oh, okay. I'm sorry, radio guy. I thought I was supposed to do it. He's trying to bang the intern. Yeah. You're bothering yeah. the Susu Studio. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I'm friends with a couple of radio people 
Like I'm friends with like Jack Harris. Oh, by the way, happy birthday today, Jack Harris. Happy well, birthday. Uh, and and like a couple of Mason Dixon and a couple of Tampa radio legends that I'm a, but I don't really know a lot of those guys that well. I mean, Jack, I worked with, but um, I'm friends with some radio guys out of the state. They would just add me, and I'd go, all right, I guess we're in radio. We can both be friends. And now I see some of their posts, and I hate. I I mean, I hate those people. <laughs> the, the, uh, they're just uh, like your your guy Kevin. Yeah, he he's a weirdo, but he's a normal he's a normal guy. Like he's got a job and he's happy to. But the people who had radio jobs and don't have radio jobs oh, yeah. are just the angriest people. This guy every day posts something about the old station he used to work for and how bad they're doing. And mo- I want to be like, nobody cares, buddy. They the world has moved on. The bitter you. radio guy or the people that are in radio that aren't making money and are mad about it get a different job. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's really weird. Or the worst is uh. The guy, the old school guys who used to be on that do the, nobody can do what we did. These uh, days. Yeah. <laughs> nobody wants to do what you did. Now, my caught and my old boss put it best. He's like, um, you know, Mason Dixon, when he was on, on, uh, he came back, like when he came back on Q105 and he brought all the old Q105 guys back together. He's like, this is what people want. They get it. And he goes, yeah, he goes, it's like, it's like the 72 dolphins that were undefeated, whatever year that was. He's like, they were great back then. You put them against the Dolphins now, they're going to get killed. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that, that probably makes the most sense of anything I've ever heard. So. Marino! Yeah, he wasn't on that. Team. He was not. No, no he, was he was not. not. not Do you yet. know who was? Uh, Don Shula. No. Joe Namath. Namath, <laughs> Namath was on the Jets, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were the only one alive back I then. I know. You I should re- remember those things. I do remember the, uh, the, the Jets winning the Super Bowl, I think, back yes. then. Yes. Yeah. That was Joe Namath. Yeah. Broadway Joe. Okay. Yeah. Predicted he would win the game. Yeah. Wow. And he wore pantyhose one time in a commercial. He did. Uh, he did. Yeah. yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. See, now you know, Joe. Yeah. Joe, you brought it back around. Yeah, all right. This is why you'll always have a job here. Thank you, Michael. No problem. <laughs> Shula was, was he coach back then or no? I don't know. I know. No, I don't, I don't know. I know Shula, I think, was there in the Marino years. I don't know. I mean, I know for sure he was, yeah. but I don't know how much before that. If the 70s. Any. Oh, yeah. no, I'm looking at, uh, so 1972 Dolphin season uh, was franchise seventh season, blah, blah, blah. Team was led by third year head coach Don Shula. Yeah, but he didn't play. No, no, no. He didn't oh. play. Uh, uh, you know, I was telling Gary Spanish, Spanish oh, was about no. to claim victory. I, <laughs> you got Bob Greasy out there. Bob Greasy was the quarterback, right? Larry Zonka. Uh-huh. Oh, the Zonk. Mercury Morris. Oh, the, Zonk. the Zonk with the Merc. Mercury Morris is pretty funny if you ever talked to him. Oh, really? Yeah. Larry yeah. Little. Um. I've done a lot of things. Those guys all go on tour and, you know, do autograph signings together and stuff. And I've done a lot of stuff with Mercury Morris and who else is some other people, the kicker. Um, what's the kicker's name? Does it say? Ray uh, Finkel. Par, <laughs> par, uh, Ga- Gasper Pernovic. I have to say it. That's not it. That's Jesper Pernovic as a golfer. Does it say what his name is? I'm trying to find. Per- it. And then the other guy is Notre Dame's coach. Finkel Zeinhorn. No, your, no, no. Your memory is so much better than mine ever was. So, oh, I have to know this. It's going to drive me crazy. Do the list of the team or no? Mm-hmm. Okay, here. Um, does not say kicker. Nobody, no respect for the kicker. No, never any. Respect. Do you know those people yelling? Garo, Gary Yapirian. Yeah. Premium, premium. That is an interesting looking man. Yep. Oh, you should see him now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. If you, if I, he looks like Danny DeVito now. <laughs> Dude, uh, I was going to say, he's probably, you know, late 20s there and looks like he's 58. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. yeah. Uh, you haven't don't seen him? See, you don't want to see him now. Oh, no? I've seen, oh, is he dead? He died in 2015. Oh, oh I did a, I did an appearance with him uh, over at, uh, I don't know, one of the hotels yeah. where they were doing a sports show. And he looks like a little Danny DeVito. Just going, awesome. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Whatever. All right, we got a good show today. Comedian uh, Rob Stant is going to be coming in the studio with us. A very funny guy that you may have never heard of before, and he's doing a one-off at Side Splitter. So uh, I would like to. I'm probably not, but I would like to go see him just because I can't. Yeah, it's your birthday week, man. You do whatever you want. I don't think that's how it works. You don't get a week anymore. You get a week when you're a kid. Listen, you get a week whenever you want. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You think my wife got me anything? Yes. What? Well, I like it. A podcast. Hey. <laughs> a new future. Uh, yeah, I think you will like it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I do. All right. She bought me a pair of shoes the other day. 
that were uncomfortable on my feet. I don't know mm. what to do. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Try them on your hands? <laughs> <laughs> they they were hurting the bottom of my feet. And I, she's like, do you like them? Like, mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I do like them. It just hurt my feet. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, that's like the number one thing for shoes. <laughs> I know. Is no. to not hurt your feet. <laughs> no. Uh, Galvin also has a brand new open letter coming up this morning. We got stuff to give away. And tomorrow, I'm making a huge concert announcement. Yes. Oh, man. I don't know if we're going to get through the day. <sighs> yeah. I thought that was today. I got yelled at. I got yelled at yesterday just for hyping it up. The thing oh, is, really? people were nervous that I was going to say it. <laughs> are you going to make it on the show or are you going to do it on the podcast with your wife? Mm, mm, mm. On the show. <laughs> All right. On the show. The podcast isn't until Monday. All right. The uh, show is tomorrow, and I will I will have it tomorrow right before news. What time? Mm-hmm. N- what time next week will your kids be on the show? No, that's, uh, that's coming next month. Never gonna do the show from home. Yeah, <laughs> never gonna do a podcast with his wife. <laughs> never, Following all the successful. Never trades. gonna go see Creed. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> one right. of those that might be true. One of those might be true. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, Carmen will tell you what we have to give away. And we do have Thomas Red tickets today. Yes. Oh, they are on there? Yep. See, I thought I screwed that up yesterday, too. You kind of did, but, is it, but we have them now. Uh, surprise, Thomas Red tickets. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll play Sporkle next on 1025 The Bone. Uh, yesterday, I went to the gym. Yeah? I did not work out. Oh. I went to... Uh, that's part of it? Well, let me explain what happened. <laughs> so a couple of years ago... When Joey was playing football, he wanted to work out at this new gym, EOS, that was open on, I forgot what, what street it was on. It was not. It was close to my house, but not close to my house. Now there's two of them on, on 54, both within the vicinity of my home. And I went in there, and they said that because he was only 15 years old, he could not work out by himself. He had to, I had to accompany him. I go, well, I'll drive him here. And they're like, no, you have to stay in the gym with him. I'm like, come on. You're going to lose a whole football team. They're going to go over to work out somewhere else. And he was like, sorry, that's the rules. Whatever. So I said, okay. So now I'm joining a gym too. So Joey and I both joined the EOS thing. And um, I don't know what I signed up for. At the time. <laughs> I did whatever I had to do to make him, for some reason, it was okay if he went by himself, if we paid all this money. But it, <laughs> it's a lot like the Catholic Church. I did. I was just yeah. going to say. You yeah. cannot get into heaven. Right. But if you pay right. this money, hey, you're, we'll you're, talk to God and see free. what we can do. Right. So now Joey, cut to the future, has already graduated high school and hasn't played football since his sophomore year or junior year or whatever and hasn't been going to the gym. So my wife looked at me and she said, I don't understand what we're paying for with this gym that you don't go to. And why it's $300 a month. And I went, what? So what it was, was Joey was paying $30 a month because that was the maximum family thing that we had. And then I was an additional 12 bucks a month because it's part of the package, special or whatever. And then we had signed him up for personal training, Uh which was $150 a month. Uh Uh-huh. We've been paying that for three years. And he hasn't been going? <laughs> and he hasn't been going. Can you backtrack that? I'll take it. So that's what I did. I went in there yesterday and I said, what am I being charged for? Now, I've heard nothing but horrendous things about their uh, people trying to quit and can't quit and they won't let them out of their mind. I mean, that's the whole thing with gyms. Like, yeah. that's the whole structure. That's, I went not in there. just them. That's yeah. all gyms. They I went in there forget. and they yeah, were... Yeah, but but it's saying, like, when you try to call there, nobody yeah. answers the phone. Yeah. And then when sure. you go, they tell you... you got. They had five people working on my account yesterday to figure out what I was being charged for and what it was. And then retroed all of my training that I paid for for the future. They couldn't have been nicer to work oh, with. Yeah. Yeah. They, they were fantastic. So uh, I said to him, I go, look, the difference between me coming in here and saying cancel everything and me saying, all right, keep the keep the smaller membership open. So now I now I have the full. They got me, though, because while I was there waiting all the time, I was watching all the stuff that they have, the uh, the sauna, the cryo gym. The, uh, I was like, all right, I, I'm going to hold on to this. I think what I'm going to do is work out with my trainer and then go over there and use their sauna. Yeah. Oh. That sounds nice. Yeah. Is it so, red? I love a sauna. Yeah. yeah. Come on, yeah. Right, let's go in the sauna together. Come okay. On. I'm in. I can take a guest. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> you know what I love? I think I like more than the sauna? Steam room. 
I like mm. steam. Yeah? Yeah. I can't breathe in the steam room. It oh, goes yeah. up my nose. I don't, I don't like, like the fog, man. Yeah. It freaks oh, me I out. Love it. What is that? What yeah. am I touching? I don't want to know. I want to know. That's, that's too different. real. That's, like too real. Real. that's a different thing. No, I, I will tell you because I've been in a steam room and it steams so much you could not see three inches it's in front of your scary. face. And yeah, I'm like, where's the door? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, uh, so thank you to EOS. That was that was a uh, interesting experience yesterday. It took me about an hour. But yeah. I, I came home with my wife. I said, I have good news and better news. Yeah. We still belong to the gym. Yet we're saving a hundred and fifty dollars a month. I remember I had signed up for a gym because they had a swimming pool, and I wanted to start swimming for cardio and doing that. And I did for a little while, and then I was like, "All right, I think I'm done." Yeah, and you got to try it. Okay, you're gonna have to climb this mountain. Yeah. You're gonna talk to a guy. He's gonna give a note to a goat, and the goat's gonna go down. <laughs> you're like, Jesus, can I just cancel it? Uh, but also, that's like any of those things: gyms, car washes, anything with a membership. They're like, yeah. Here, sign up. Why are you doing just the one visit whenever you could actually have 4,000 visits for the same price yeah, if yeah. you sign up for this and then forget about it, you idiot. Yeah. We'll take all your money. <laughs> well, three years of yeah. training. Oh. All right, uh, Carmen, what are we giving away today? Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff. We have tickets. We have one more pair of tickets for Universal Halloween Horror Night. Okay. We have tickets for Creed, Derp. which Mike is not going I'll to. I'll be there. We have, Friday, I'll be giving away my tickets. Yeah. We have tickets for Lightning Preseason, Ingve nice. Malmsteen. Yeah, still. D uh, DSO, and the Mike Calta Tailgate. I feel like that Ingve Malmsteen show has been going on for six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on the 27th, so it's coming up. We got tickets very early. And yeah. We keep, mm -hmm. yeah so. All right. Well, let's do it right now. A little bit of sparkle. Here we go. What's wrong? That was loud in my ear. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Carmen is the keeper of Sparkle. Pap Pap is your judge and scorekeeper. Carmen, what are we playing today? All right. <clears throat> Can you name the missing word from these top TV quotes? Okay. Yep. I'm going to give you a quote. You're going to give me the missing word. All right. Very simple. All right. Your first one. You're on candid camera. Smile. Mike Kelta. What you talking about? Willis. Galvin, let's be out there. Careful. Mike Kelta, suit up. Galvin. Can you turn her up a little bit? Or what, can you what turn is that? I, suit suit up. up, that's from uh, How I Met Your Mother. Oh. Barney. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run out, suit up. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Ask not what your can do for Country. you. Galvin. That's not a TV show. Yeah. It was on TV. It was on TV. Ugh. Um, Who you baby. Loves. Who loves you. Who loves. Yeah. Loves. Yeah. Mike. Okay. Uh, let's get ready Rumble. to rumble. Pap, pap. Galvin. No, no that was 100% Geo. Geo. Thank God I'm Terrible. here. Thank God there's <laughs> integrity on the show. Thank and God Joe's horrible. And not in the microphone. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the thrill of victory. Defeat. The, defeat. Ah. the, the of word. defeat. Thrill. Uh, oh. What? Oh, the, thrill of victory, the, the thrill of victory. The blank of defeat. Thrill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the same thing he said. Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Agony. Agony of defeat. We need Ginkgo Bilobo or something. I, everyone's yelling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm very confused. Don't worry, Joe. Give me that point. Uh, <laughs> and Pap Pap, hmm. we're halfway there. Oh. Spanish is zero. He is not on the board. Gio with that one single point. And Mike and Galvin are both tied with first. Oh. Both first? First. Uh, first? By the way. What do you, we have? Are you all right, buddy? I'm all right. <laughs> what are we tied with? <laughs> How many points? We both one, have three. Three. I'm one, giving two. Uh, uh, with first. Oh Jeez. man! The thrill of first. <laughs> I feel like Joe needs some soup and a nap. Uh, and Mike is going for three in a row. Oh, oh too late. Oh, yeah. you can't say it now. <laughs> yeah. Geo, activate it. Cognitive decline. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know, Biden. I don't know whether you're going to be able to do the uh, cameras anymore. Come on, man. When he first got in office, he was sharp. I'm man. not going anywhere. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We're going to have a black lady over there in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my God. 
All right, all right. Uh, missing word, top TV quotes. Your next one. I'm, this is my brother, Daryl. Daryl. Larry. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Mike. New heart. Well, isn't that. Special. <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> well, isn't that special? <laughs> If it, so, excuse me, if it weren't for you, kids, damn, darn, darn, uh, fast, Scooby Doo, oh, no. No, where know. are you? If it weren't oh. for you, meddling, yeah, yeah. meddling, meddling, damn it, kids, you're fired, Galvin, <laughs> baby, you're the greatest, Mike, assume, never. Spanish. That's incredible. The simple life. All folks. Hot. That's hot. Yeah. Galvin. That's hot. <laughs> I have to say it. I have to say it how they say it afterwards. How do they say it? It's hot. That's hot. Here's Johnny. Johnny. Pap pap. Galvin. No, there's no way in the world. Do you really think that was you? I. Yeah, I mean, I was answering. Oh, so. my God. Listen, if I know, I give it I up. I know. Yeah. I'm not mad at you, but right. my God, that was bad. All right. That is bad. <laughs> That's the make them up. Oh. For what? <laughs> <laughs> I love how he thinks we're all wrong. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You are. I'm the judge. What's wrong. going on? What? <laughs> and Pat Pap. Talking to your mic, judge. <laughs> we're on the last three. Mike, judge. Spanish has a single point. He is tied with Gio, who also has a single point. Michael has six, and Galvin is your leader right now. He's winning with seven. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, thanks for that. Oh, oh no. man. It was so, it was clearly Mike. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, missing word from these TV quotes. Your next one. I'm not A, but I play one on Doctor. TV. Doctor. Mike, tell me what you don't like about yourself. Me. Yourself. <laughs> Spanish. We're tied. Yes, we are. Seven mm -hmm. seven. Mm -hmm. so, so are they out? Yes. These losers right. are out. Anybody so this me? is between Mike and Galvin. This is the last one. Missing word. TV quotes. Where's the beef? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta tell you that hurts, Joe. That really hurts. Oh, because I want. What show is that? It was on TV. That was TV. Wendy's. It was a Wendy's, Wendy's commercial. Ad. It just oh. I just Where's said TV. Oh. Like the JFK was, was on TV, but yeah. it wasn't a TV show. I thought it had to be shows. Right. No, I said TV quotes. I believe you. <laughs> I know. You're just the worst. Do you remember her name? Oh. Uh, where's the beef lady? <laughs> Wendy's. She would just go. No. She would look at the hamburger. Yeah. And she'd go, "Where's the beef?" Because their burgers had gotten too small. Was it Agnes? Aww. It was not. Starts with a C. Does. Yeah. Clara. Yes. Clara. Clara. Clara Peller. Clara Peller. Where's the beef? Yeah. I don't know Where's why I remember beef? that. No, I don't know. Not like that. Oh, no. Do it. Do Where's it. the beef? Yeah. Well, she oh got mad. God. Yeah. She got mad. Be. It's a burger, and she gets the burger, and it was just a <laughs> stupid little bun with her, and she goes, Where's the beef? Yeah. He's right. <laughs> Do you remember Zvimware? Ladies wear Zvimware. <laughs> Is that uh, from Love and Elevator? No, no. There was a uh, commercial about how um, it, it was like about a uh, communist uh, fashion show, and they just had the same outfit, and they'd go, swimwear, and uh. they'd come out, and they'd be like, evening fan, and they'd wear the <laughs> same outfit. It was great. I don't remember what the commercial was for, though. Uh, Joe, final score? Final score. Gio with a single point. Spanish doubling that with, se uh, with two. Well, seven. I was looking for something to throw at you. No. Doubled it with seven. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> Michael had seven, and Galvin is your triumphant champion today. He won with eight. Gotcha! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Try back 2024. Ridiculous. Uh, Galvin, what do we have coming up in news? Uh, coming up in news today, we have mm -hmm. uh, did they hit pound, put some cheese on it, and what to expect? Mm -hmm. 
All right, Galvin, as your news, take a quick break. We'll do that. After that, comedian Rob Stanton will be here. We've got tickets to give away to see uh, Thomas Rhett, whatever that is, a country guy uh, that evidently people go crazy over. <laughs> I f- this typically, I mean, this is just exactly what I expected to be like when I was old. Mm-hmm. Just uh, you rock and roll kids. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> Thomas Rhett tickets. Hey, for you. Ringo's coming. Ringo will be there. Uh, yeah. It's the Mike Cal. The show news is next on 1025 The Bone. I was watching a video last night, and this woman, I, I have been thinking about what i feed my dogs i feed them that processed food and uh, i also like to give them table scraps i know you're not supposed to do that but i I, like i made steaks last night and i gave them some steak because they need to eat some real stuff every once in a while yeah like steak is fine steak or chicken or whatever if you're giving them you know uh funyuns and everything that's no 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 no. but it's great when um when i watch them they want to just they want to eat something that i gave them i give them a little piece of steak and they're like oh yeah 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 and then they go back, and I'm out of steak, and I'm like, here's broccoli. And they're like, oh, and then they eat it, and they're like, well, uh, no way, that's different than uh, the first thing was. Why would you do that? Uh, yeah. I'm not a uh, big fan of cats, uh, but I Don't do. Don't feed them cats. Uh, I but know. I do like that uh, cats, you ever see cats whenever they're watching people eat, and they do the air bites? The oh, cat no. will be watching mm-hmm. someone, and you'll like bite something, they'll go. <laughs> yeah. And sit there and do like I want some of that too. <laughs> well, I watched this video last night of what this woman feeds her dog. Yeah, she has a dog that looks. I have it's not, but it looks like maybe like a pit bull ish kind of dog, like one of those meaty looking dogs. Mm-hmm. She feeds this dog two freeze dried duck heads, uh, some sort of calf liver, like the actual liver, uh, two eggs. And a bunch of frozen blueberries. Wow. And she just puts it all in a dish, and I thought, that is probably healthy and delicious, but it <laughs> yeah. looks terrible. There's two duck heads and a liver on a yeah. plate. And then she takes the egg, puts the egg in there, and then reaches in and pulls the membrane out of the egg to put the egg on. I mean, like, she's really trying to get all the nutrients out of there, but it just looks so weird. And then the duck just bites into the duck's head. Ugh. Just eating the duck's face. Yeah, why yeah. not? It's just weird. I don't know. I mean, uh, liver, very high in iron. Uh, yeah. The uh, the eggs are good for the dog's coat. Yeah, blueberries yeah. are good for everybody. Yeah, good for your heart. I love yeah. blueberries. The more, you uh, the more you fart. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's check in with Galvin. He has today's news. And now, news with Galvin on the Mike Calter Show. What do we have in news today, Galvin? <clears throat> Today's news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. Mike was talking earlier. He got some shoes that uh, hurt his little tootsies. Bottom Guess what? My feet. Yeah. Go to Pelt's. You know what? I didn't get my toe box measured. Well, the shoe fit experts over there would yeah. have measured and did the 3D scan and everything. And you would have known before you left the store that those shoes weren't proper for you. You need proper fitting shoes because otherwise your feet are going to hurt. That causes uh, knee pain, back pain, all kind of stuff. You may be walking around with shoes that are too small, too wide, too long, who knows what. But if you get into pelts, they'll make sure you get the proper fitting shoe. And they have all the different styles and brands you're looking for. So you can stop into uh, one of their six locations throughout Pinellas, Sarasota, and Fort Myers. And make sure you tell them Galvin from the Mike Kelton the show sent you. Uh, so uh, Israel's Mossad spy agency planted explosives. This is the best. This is the best ever. Inside 5,000 pagers imported by Lebanese group Hezbollah months before Tuesday's detonations that killed nine people. My question is, Who's, who's carrying pages? Who's still yeah. carrying pages? Like, I get it if you're a doctor and you're on call and that type of thing, but still, you, you got a phone now, whatever, but uh, off I, the grid. I, yeah, that's, a, yeah. that's I think. I think it was just so that they can communicate yeah. with their people. So they thought this would be a safer way to communicate yeah. Yeah. instead of yep. cell phones. Yep. And that's Surprise. why they were going that route. Uh, there's some video on Bone TV of the uh, pagers exploding as well. The operation uh, with a trail running from Taiwan to Budapest uh, was an unprecedented Hezbollah security breach that saw thousands. Thousands of pagers exploded across Lebanon, wounding nearly 3,000 people, including many of the group's fighters and Iran uh, envoy to Beirut. Uh, The pagers were from a Taiwan-based Gold Apollo, but the uh, company said in a statement it did not manufacture the devices. It said that they were made by a company called BAC, based in the Hungarian capital, which had licensed to uh, use its brand, but gave no more details. The uh, Iran-backed Hezbollah has vowed to retaliate against Israel, whose military declined to comment on the blasts. So the video is great. I don't know if you're showing it, Joe, but there's yeah. a guy in a, a market and he's just getting uh, some fruit and all of a sudden his pocket just explodes, which is pretty awesome. And then I saw another video of a dead guy 
He's just on a motorcycle leaning over, and he's got a big chunk missing out of his yeah. waist. So the guy at the uh, grocery store at the fruit stand, whatever, so his thing explodes. He goes down, and you see him there just kind of, you know. Writhing in pain. Yeah, and his, his whole thing's exploded. And the guy next to him, I'm assuming, is in shock and doesn't know because he just kind of looked. But the way he looks oh, at I him. Oh, I would get away from him. But he doesn't even get away from me. He just looks at him, and he's like. All right. Yeah, go you know back to I mean? my like, kumquats. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I don't know, are you, you going to take those oranges? Oh, you know? uh, yeah, I, I don't think he knew what was going oh, on. I'm and they're sure all like, if somebody's all... leg explodes next to you, you don't jump into, you know, hey, let's <laughs> save this guy, whatever. You're probably like, the hell what? just happened? Yeah. Yeah. You'd be so confused. And uh, then I started thinking, what's the... What's how do we know the new iPhones we buy? Oh yeah, uh, the ones from China. Uh, yeah, well, whatever we wherever they're from, but oh, like we're all buying new ones in September because the yeah. new 16 comes out. And now we're all sitting there with a potential bomb in our hand. And the yeah. iPhones aren't made in the United States. I don't know. I yeah. have no idea. I don't. Oh. Listen, me, you say like I don't. If I saw a video of a little kid getting whipped and making my iPhone, I'd be like, all right. Well, yeah. if it's got AI technology, hit that kid harder. Uh-huh. I want them, I want my phone faster. You know, I, I don't. That stuff doesn't doesn't affect me at all. Does it affect you? Uh, like, are you going to not wear Nikes because you heard there's a factory of little kids making nah, Nikes? I don't, I don't care. care. There's yeah. so much yeah, other but, stuff to worry about. But also, good luck having anything. Because not yeah. only iPhone is made by, you know, that, whatever, but then also the stuff for the battery, they got to mine that, and they're just dropping people in there. And, you know, I mean, there's so many things. Anything, your computer, your clothes, you, the car you drive, like any of that stuff, you're just going to be, like, sitting mm-hmm. in the middle of the woods right. yeah. if you're trying to stay away from all that stuff. Yeah. Well, um... I'm just saying, I, I it's like that movie with the Kingsman, where they had the yeah, uh, the cell phones yeah. and they hypnotize everybody. Now these things are all blowing up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is just the first run to oh, see how many they sure. get. Yeah. Didn't you think it was cool? I know that you said you weren't a big fan of it. The uh, No Time to Die, the James Bond movie. You said it wasn't a great one. I I thought it was pretty good. I some don't of the remember. stuff. Well, uh, but they had the thing that uh, they had all these different people's DNA code. Right. So the poison that they put out only affected them which was really interesting and yeah. they had like a big party and they dropped this thing and, poof, and all these people were dying now other people were like we're totally fine whatever yeah, yeah well you're not the people we were targeting because oh. they targeted their s- specific dna which it's a movie well it's you, real <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah it's a movie but you're like that could they could totally do that I oh bet. i remember uh i was on a, a navy sub in jacksonville and not a sub, but a Navy uh, You sure carrier. you weren't eating a sub in Jersey? No, no, okay. no. I was on a, a <laughs> Marine. I mean, I was on a Navy ship, and the guy was like, with the DNA technology, we can target specific people yeah. with yeah. the weapons. Yeah. That's, That's wild. And then we all did 23 and me. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it all away. Guess what company bought that? BlackRock? Yeah. Well, uh, Google had it, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, BlackRock. Yeah. Uh, speaking of DNA, oh. uh, Diddy is being <laughs> held <laughs> without bail on three charges. Racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, and transportation to engage in prostitution. The judge was not swayed by Diddy's offer to pay $50 million bond, wear an ankle monitor, and limit his travel from uh, South Florida to New York City. Uh, The indictment also accuses Diddy of forced labor, narcotics offenses, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Diddy allegedly lured women to uh, uh, with the uh, promise of a romantic relationship, then forced them to engage in sex acts with men Male sex workers at parties called freak offs. Male uh, sex workers. Yeah. So he would have the girls, he'd be like, hey, let's, we should date, whatever, and then have male yeah. uh, gigolos bang them while he watched. Diddy would pleasure himself while watching that. Oh, Diddy's weird. Oh, yes. Diddy, Diddy's into some stuff. Yes, he is. I think uh, Diddy, I think Diddy, though, crossed the line that most Hollywood people do where they've had so much sex. So, like, what else would it take to get me to enjoy and it? And can I convince you to do this you know what i mean like yeah. the guys Challenge. the guys are getting paid but the girls are just regular girls and they're like oh did he's, he's famous and he's got money this and that and everything yeah. you know what i like i like to watch you bang a guy i got a guy that you can bang will they do that you know what i mean like i think that's part of it too interesting i you know i was talking to my wife about something yesterday i was trying to figure out what it was sexual one of these sexual things that did he and i always say like what i say on the show i'm a great a pervert i love porn and all that other stuff but there's certain things that i don't want like i don't want to see anybody touching my wife that does nothing for me yeah well we were talking yesterday about the guy who is up on uh, all the uh, rape charges and stuff over in france who uh, drugged his wife and had over 50 different men yeah 
Like yeah. that, that I can't. And that, she was unconscious whenever they did it. You know, I, so. that would make me, that would make me mad. Yeah. To think about, or I certainly don't want to see it. Just makes me mad to think about it now. We've been together for a long time. Normally, after a while, that stuff kind of evens out a little bit. Now I'm like, no, I'll still kill everybody in the room. Uh, so after the parties, the women would uh, often be so exhausted that they needed IVs to recover. <laughs> Did he, I have never done that to a woman. I can honestly say I have never oh, made not. sweet love to a woman so strong that she needed an IV. I'm yeah, sorry, you're ladies. not bringing in pros. No, either, I know. You know? I'm uh-huh. just saying though. I have. Ne- I'm sure I have disappointed many women. I've never knocked the juice out of them. Well, they were saying part of the thing is all these. A lot of these women were all drugged up on G. Yeah. 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 Oh. And the IVs was to counteract the drugs. Uh, did he control his victims through physical violence, promises of career opportunities, threatening to withhold financial support, controlling their housing, and supplying them with drugs? During the raid of Diddy's home earlier this year, the feds reportedly seized narcotics, firearms uh, with the face serial numbers, and 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what I heard. Yeah, a slip thousand slide. bottles. Yeah, let's go. Buy what in you, bulk. What are you doing with that? Hey, buy in bulk. You probably have a slip room. Slippery room. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Uh, he's also accused of physically abusing women by striking, punching, kicking, dragging, throwing well, we know things he does at them. That. Yeah. yeah, that includes the 2016 incident uh, with his then-girlfriend, Cassie at the LA hotel, which was captured on video. And if that's not enough, once the allegations started coming to light last year, Diddy and his people reportedly tried to bribe victims and witnesses to stay quiet. Diddy pleaded not guilty to all charges and he denies everything. He's facing a maximum of life in prison. Yeah. How about that? Diddy offered $50 million and they said no. Yeah. I mean, they're they're out to get yeah. them. Oh, Fifty yeah. million dollars, an ankle bracelet, and only go between here or New York and Florida. And yeah. they're like, nope, you're gonna run. They're you know, running. All I hear is uh, the people that are above him really don't want to get caught. So yeah. they're like, you're in now, bro. Yeah. Yep. It was you're him. In now. It was him. We yeah. got him. Pick Look up pinch. his net worth. Diddy. What? I'm gonna say Diddy's probably around uh, four hundred million. I mean, I would say he's got to be close to a billion yeah. if he's giving away $50 million yeah. with no with Maybe. ease. I'll simply write you a check for $50 million. Uh, I think uh, close to a billion as well. 500. Yeah, this says about four to $500 million. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. That was close. That was close. Um, do I get that now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. no, you get the baby oil. Oh, okay. yeah, and the, and, the, and the black prostitutes. Hey, no, male. I, that's incorrect because IMDb, as of yesterday, has his net worth at a billion dollars. Yeah, oh. that's what I had heard. I know he owns a building in Manhattan, maybe, maybe several, but I saw one that had his name on it. And I thought that building alone has got to be worth it. And he's been rich and famous for a long time. Yeah. Imagine the lifestyle he's accustomed to, and now he's in prison. Like, yeah. locked up. with no food. Bail. It's the yeah. Weinstein effect. He was yeah. getting ready for it. I have a strong feeling he was yeah, getting ready but what for do you, this. You don't prepare yourself. He hired yourself. Kevin Hart. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you know, in jail, he may do okay. Yeah. Uh, because he's he's protected, famous, yeah. and he's famous. He's Diddy. But, um... The lifestyle know, changes something, but... There's a couple of guys in there that are like, I don't like the way you hit women. Yeah. And beat his face in. But, um... Yeah, I mean, think I mean, about it. He's gonna, he's without he's going to do it all without the baby oil mm-hmm. now. And he's going to that island with everything <laughs> yeah. and all. Yeah. Of, uh, all also, who's in prison? That's like you kill Tupac. Oh, you know, yeah. think about that. and Biggie. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. They say he's the mastermind behind yeah. it all. Hey, really, uh, real quick, what is Diddy famous for? What is Diddy famous for? Yeah. Like, I always knew him as a producer. Yeah, yeah. And he would put himself on some of the tracks and stuff. Yeah. But I mean, and that he grew into a, a billion dollar industry. Yeah. But yeah. look at a, I mean, that's a lot of the guys like that. What's his name? Uh, Kanye another was like one. that. Another one. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Oh, yeah, you DJ ask, Khaled, you're like, yeah. what does the guy do? He just screams his name yeah. in the background of other people's songs. Yeah. I and mean, that's pretty much, I mean, obviously uh, he's producing and all that stuff. I got to tell you. So, uh, I'm always fascinated by things that I don't necessarily understand. Uh, you know, DJs, club DJs. I don't really know what they do because I don't do it, whatever. But then when you watch somebody who is good, we had a DJ, DJ doc rock that won like the spinoff thing and Disney and everything. And to watch somebody do that, because you're like, I don't know, are they just pressing a button or what yeah. are they doing? But he would like pick up the turntable and bounce the needle and then he'd take his shirt off while he's doing <laughs> three tables at once and stuff. And you're like, that's amazing. I saw Timberland and he was putting beats together for Jay Z. This was 
back in the day in their popular songs. I can't name them, but whatever. But he was playing it for Jay-Z and Jay Z's making the stank yeah, face. Like, yeah. oh, and he's doing all this. And he goes, and then if you add this on top of it, whatever. And it's like, wow, that's cool. Because I yeah. don't know what they're doing. Yeah. You know? Those, those guys back in the day, they're old school DJs. Yeah. Right? That's and impressive stuff. Now these guys that have everything all pre-recorded mm-hmm. and they did boop. But he had like a he had like a keyboard and he was adding oh, yeah. different layers and doing different stuff and you're like that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean there's definitely some talent there. I just with, with Diddy though, he just he came out. He was with Biggie, and then Biggie died, and there was still Diddy. And then he wrote that song about missing Biggie, yeah. right? And then he destroyed that Godzilla song <laughs> and uh, with Led Zeppelin, yeah, right? Cashmere. Mm-hmm. And then uh, really, I don't know. And then I know he did like some TV shows, and Bad Boy for the Life, record label, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like what? Even what? the record, I didn't even know this, but that record label wasn't even his money that he used to start that record label. Yeah. I didn't know that until all this stuff broke. So I just don't know. I just don't. It's one of those people that he became so rich and so famous, and nobody really knows exactly what he does. Like a plan or something. Except the two people that he was associated with are dead. <laughs> yeah. Clothing line, Sean John. Oh, I forgot about and that. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and the vodka. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's Ciroc. got tons of stuff. Listen, I also don't want to take away from uh, him being in one of the best movies ever. Get him to the Greek. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah. 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 It's yeah. biggest loser time. Yeah. It's biggest loser time. What are they going to do his with all his cuckoo? He's in Maid as well, which is he's great. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Great yeah. Made. yeah. He's drinking the witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he's, he's good actor? He is. He's going to die in custody. Yeah. Uh, you think so? Yeah. He's never going to see the light of day. He'll, he'll die in prison or in oh, custody. I don't know about that. I think so. I think it's it would be too obvious if they kill him now. Well, I, he's going to kill himself. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be given the means oh, yeah. to kill himself. No, right. They, they kill a decoy. Oof. And, and then the, he walks. Uh, the cameras are off. Yeah, yeah. It's, yep. it's Walk talkies aren't working. Uh, you I'm, can't have another Epstein process. Oh, yes, you can. One hundred percent. The oh, same exact thing that happened to Epstein. Every the, the cameras were off. The guys were snoozing, yeah. and he just killed himself with sheets he shouldn't have. Joe, has anybody contacted you about running cameras for the uh, security? No, probably uh, should. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm imagine the stuff that he knows uh, yeah, with the dude. elites. And oh, the, yeah, people the just, people. Forget the elites. The father from Family Matters. Yeah. That's what I want to find out about before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I do that? <laughs> he did do that. Yeah. Sorry, oh, Diddy. You got to go. You could say that you don't, it would be too obvious about the Epstein stuff, but I'm just going to point back to that one unfortunate reporter that was doing a story on the Clintons who wound up hung from a tree, shot huh? in the chest with a shotgun, yeah. and Listen, no, he killed himself. I get it. I and get no it. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. 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 And no footsteps. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Florida law enforcement officials will launch their own criminal investigation into the apparent assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump that will run parallel to the federal probe. That's according to Governor uh, Ron DeSantis. Uh, The governor said Florida prosecutors will pursue the most serious charges available under state law, including attempted murder in the state level uh, investigation into Ryan Wesley Routh, who was charged Monday with the federal firearms offenses, uh, saying, quote, we have a very strong interest in holding this suspect accountable. Dude, that, that guy. Give that guy some sheets. Yeah, that Time guy. For him is, to go. He's definitely going to sheet himself. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Uh, so 52% of likely Republican voters believe Donald Trump's claim that Haitian immigrants are abducting and eating cats and dogs. Oh, wasn't, In Ohio. Wasn't, so I was trying to explain this to my wife when it came on. It was true. That one case yeah. of one person who really had mental issues happened to be a Haitian immigrant but also, was eating a cat. That's all it takes. I'll tell you, Joe Rogan made a very good point. I was listening the other day, and he was saying about that, about them talking about it. And he goes, but I got to tell you, if I'm a Haitian refugee or an immigrant or whatever, and I'm poor and I'm living there, and he goes, there's some ducks in the pond yeah, or there's going. a cat or whatever. And he goes, in who you know, I don't know whether they eat cats in Haiti, right. like I mean, we know that you know uh, there's Asian countries that eat dog. There's yeah. countries Swedish that eat horses. <laughs> you know yeah. uh, that type of stuff. Whatever he goes, is that that far fetched that that could happen? No, you know, no, and, and it did actually happen. There was a, a particular story where it happened. That's where the story comes from. Now, did it get blown out of proportion? And did it get? Uh, but but also to Joe Rogan's, uh, if you. If you're somebody who's used to eating yeah. animals who roam free, 
and you see an animal and you go eat it, it's not so far fetched. Yeah, you're free, starving. Free yeah. ducks. Yeah. Uh, free ducks. <laughs> the video of the person, was it a lady that you saw or a no? A lady. And it was at the cops and they're like, did you kill that cat? Yeah. Did you eat yeah, that yeah, cat? That okay, was, that's the one that I saw too. Yeah. And I was like, I don't even know if this is real or if they're just putting a voice over top of this, you know? They said it was in Canton, not in Springfield, and that she wasn't Haitian. I, I don't yeah, know where it was, yeah, yeah. Or, but there yeah, was the case. There was yeah. the video, yeah. Right. There's so many things in your like, they just say whatever they want. Right, right. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, I can it's tell a great you, story. I can oh. tell you something you will want to eat. Burger guy. Oh. You ready for this? <laughs> burger guy. You are? Burger guy. You are. I'm not Just burger listen. guy. Remember burger when guy. he tried the Mappy Dog? Guy? Yeah. yeah. Embrace it. I, Embrace no, it. I'm not embracing You're it. Well, I would like to wish you a happy National Cheeseburger Day. Oh. Yeah. Hey, 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 happy birthday, Gio. 82, <laughs> 82% of Americans say they love them, and 100% of Geos love them, too. <laughs> uh, the big hitters have some pretty solid deals this year. Here are a few places to get a uh, burger for free or close to free McDonald's has 50 cent double cheeseburgers through their app. Oh yeah. So you can get some of those. Yeah. Double cheeseburger. Wendy's is selling their junior bacon cheeseburger for a penny with any purchase through Sunday. Ooh. So if you go in get a frosty you can get a, a junior bacon cheeseburger for a penny. Uh, burger King rewards members can get a free cheeseburger if they spend $1. So you spend one dollar, you're a rewards member, you get a free cheeseburger. I am a rewards member. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course you are. <laughs> Platinum level. Uh, don't sleep on Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen has free double cheeseburgers through their app if you spend a dollar. That deal also runs through Sunday. Dairy oh. Queen has good food. Good they food. Do. Yeah. We yeah. talked about it before. They have really good food. Very underrated. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. So happy uh, <laughs> National <laughs> Cheeseburger Day. Oh, Gio and everyone not, else. Not Congratulations. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> uh, speaking of food, apparently Taco Bell has a lot of taco influence. Uh, they have moved National Taco Day from October 4th to the 1st. Tuesday in October, so right. it's Taco Tuesday. I'm in. Taco right, Tuesday. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Taco Bell has it. spoken. Yeah. Yeah. We rule with an iron <laughs> bell. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, the first Tuesday in October is now Taco Tuesday. Get it done. Well, yes. then they have a big lawsuit trying to. They did. Because they weren't going to be able to, to use no, Taco yeah. Tuesday. Right. And then LeBron wanted, no, LeBron. To, LeBron wanted to trademark it, and they're like, slow down, right. guy. Yeah. We've been doing tacos for quite some time. Don't mess with the bell. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, 41% of Americans have hit peak stress and say that they're most stressed now uh, more than any uh, other point in 2024. The top things we are stressed about include what? What did you say? I have the uh, top three here. Oh. Things, things we're most stressed about. Money. Uh, yeah. Money. Mm -hmm. Yes. The world not blowing up. Mm. Very War. well, very well put, man. Yeah. You, you articulated that. No. So well. The world <laughs> not blowing it's up. The world. Uh, health. Uh, no, surprisingly, really? not in the top three. Civil War. No. Politics. The election, yeah. specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the election. And then one other thing, you got money you worry about, you're worried about the election, and you're worried about what else? Money, the election, and your kids. Yes, family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Family, yeah. Those are the top things. Uh, number one. Oh, my all sources of my stress. Number one strategy for dealing with this is what? Drinking. No, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I figures it might be, might uh, be for some people. Therapy. No. Uh, binge, pills. binge eating in your car. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Cheeseburgers. Crayons are no Cream. Listen to music. Oh, listening okay. to music. Uh, so right, right, it's another right. sign. We gotta go. We gotta go on Friday. Yeah. Uh, uh, they say number one strategy for dealing with stress is listening to music. <laughs> Oh, what if, I mean, we didn't go, what yeah. if we didn't go to Creed and we just went to dinner somewhere? I mean, oh. you know, talk to me. <laughs> I'm open for uh, talk to yeah. me. <laughs> I'm open for suggestions. It's, I, your, it's your birthday. I can't imagine being stressed out by an election or politics. Uh, I, get I mean, it. some people get. I get it. But yeah, I think you're so hit over the head with it, and you have to deal with it and stuff that people get stressed out about it. And then if you talk to anybody, you know, yeah. you, you're saying. Yeah, even if you're easy going and you're like, I don't know, we'll see what happens. How can you not be more concerned? Yeah. Or mm. this person is this and this person is that. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, all right, Jesus. Well, I'm just like, whatever happens, it's all going to work out, whatever. Uh, every time I talk to my dad, he will uh, point out, you know, how crazy the world's getting and stuff and, mm. you know, all this stuff that's going on. I go, Dad, you know, you can just watch Seinfeld. Yeah. You don't have to watch yeah. the news. Yeah. You know, uh, you, you did it. You've retired. You raised a great family. You can just relax. Enjoy it. You know, go fishing. You don't have to put the news on. Bill Burr. 
Bill Burr said, uh, yeah, 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 whoever I get to like, you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah that's, you, know, that's you get who you want, but you'll be fine. Yeah. It's uh, a 23 year old man in Illinois was charged with first degree murder, attempted murder rather, uh, after he stabbed another man with a butter knife five times oh. during an argument over what? If you can get a butter knife into somebody's body, you deserve to kill. Butter them. knife worse because that's a jagged <laughs> yeah. stab. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You got to really Dull. get in there. Where yeah, if it's sharp, it's like a clean stab. It needs he goes in. Listen, I don't want to be stabbed with either, but yeah, butter knife. It's like a screwdriver. Yeah, uh, they he stabbed the guy five times with a butter knife during an argument over sporkle. Uh, sporkle. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Uh, Money. Money? No. Um, no. He took his food off his plate. Ooh, yeah. specific food that they argued over. Hot oh, dog. Chicken wings. Taco. No, no, no. Pizza. Peanut butter and jelly. Uh, uh, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, and specifically, the victim not cleaning up after themselves and leaving peanut butter and jelly all, all over the counter. I thought it was because they put peanut butter on one and jelly uh, on the other piece of bread. <laughs> I, that, I'll stab you. you lunatic. Uh, things got violent, and one guy stabbed the other guy five times with the butter knife in his hip, his lower back, <gasps> his armpit, and his uh, armpit. shoulder bone. Yeah, and right side of his collarbone. So he oh. just went up. He, just, uh, he was doing that uh, Israeli fighting. The yeah. knife fighting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, the uh, witness drove the victim to the hospital. There was a witness that saw it. Stab wounds, punctured uh, intestine, but it sounds like the guy's going to be okay. If convicted, the suspect could get up to 30 years in prison. Well, the old armpit stab will get uh, you. But yeah. it's also attempted murder, yeah. man. Yeah. Take it easy. I don't I, a butter knife, man. I I don't know if I could put a butter knife into somebody. Oh, you could. Yeah, easy. I'm just saying. It's, I don't know if it'd be easier, but I, you'd have to really get it in there. You got, yeah, you, uh, you know what I mean. You're doing it like that. You're not. You're not fencing with it. Joe, go get a butter knife. Let's <laughs> see if we go can between do the ribs, Michael. Oh, oh I know, you know, but he this guy went in the shoulder and the armpit. Yeah, oh. collarbone and the hip. Hip. Yeah, mm-hmm. hips don't lie. <laughs> Uh, with seven rebounds in uh, last night's 85 to 72 win over Seattle Storm, Asia Wilson of the Las Vegas Aces surpassed injured Chicago Sky Aww. rookie Angel Reese for the WNBA's single season rebounding record last week. So now she has a single season rebounding record. Last week, Wilson broke the WNBA single season scoring record. And on Sunday, she became the first player in league history. To reach 1,000 points in a single season. So is she going to be? She's MVP. Yeah. No, no, no. Asia, uh, she's a veteran. Oh, Asia will what? 100% be a yeah. uh, uh, What's the other MVP? girl's name? Uh, Cece. No, Caitlin no. Clark. Asia and Neil. Oh, Angel Reese. Angel. Those yeah. are the two I get confused. Yeah. So Angel Reese is a rookie. Right. And, uh, you know, she's up for rookie of the year, but so is Kate, Kate, Caitlin uh, Clark, which she should win. I uh, just stats wise, right, right, she right, wins. Right. And then Asia Wilson miles ahead of everybody else. I, I love, MVP. I love that, uh, Caitlin Clark has drawn so many people at WNBA and she's not particularly good. Looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, she's okay. looking. I forget which player said it, but it's a retired WNBA player who is talking about, uh, Caitlin Clark. And she said, Caitlin Clark is still adjusting to the WNBA. Was it Re- Rebecca Lobo? Cause I think I saw that. No, I don't oh. think it was Lobo. Uh, I saw Lobo talking about her over the weekend. She goes, she's still adjusting to the WNBA and she's doing this well. Yeah. That should be scary. (laughs) That should be scary for you. If she's doing this well in her first year, still adjusting, watch out. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's almost time for playoffs. Yeah. Getting ready to go. Yeah. How short is the season? Is it a- um, it, uh, I'd say there's like 50 games somewhere yeah. around there, maybe yeah. a little bit so more. Half, half of NBA season. I think yeah. there's like only like a week left. Yeah, and then uh, right now is where they're kind of getting the uh, where they're going to be and stuff. Because if this team wins, this team loses, then this team gets in. You know what gotcha, I mean? So gotcha. figure it out all, all that right. stuff. Uh, speaking of CC, one of her fans, David Letterman was called for jury duty on Monday. Uh, he did not get picked, but during the uh, selection process, the judge asked him if he's a Colts fan since he's from Indiana. He said, quote, yeah, big Colts fan. Oh, and two still a fan. <laughs> <laughs> not, he's not, still, he's still rocking that big beard. Yeah. I yeah. saw him in a picture with uh Caitlin Clark over the weekend. Yeah. 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 Imagine you're at the jury pool and you're like, that old man looks just like David yeah. Letterman over there. I, I mean, there's no way Letterman. it's him. Right. Do you know, do you remember? I know Galvin, you remember that um, there was a plot to kidnap Letterman's son, Harry. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the, yeah. The workers that were working on his house. Yeah. And they were plotting to kidnap his son. Yeah. Whoa, that's man, wild. How scary is that? So many weird things happen with him. That lady that used to show yeah. up at his house all the time. Yeah. And- you know, I, uh, there was a woman that used to show up at his house all the time and it got to the point where, um, 
he, I remember they said that he uh, heard a noise, he got up and he saw her and he said, listen, you know, you're not supposed to be here. You're going to go to jail. You got to stop doing this. And they uh, arrested her. And she eventually killed herself by putting her head down on a on a railroad track. Oh, she just had a real bad yeah. mental problems. But I remember thinking to myself, how could he be so calm with a woman who was breaking into his house and his property? And I thought, ah, if it was Medicine Man, I'd be like, Medicine Man, you can't keep coming right, to my house. Right, crazy yeah. patty. I wouldn't want to kill him, you know? Yeah. Like I, at first, I thought he would just, just shoot her. One of the craziest ones was uh, David Spade with his assistant, oh, his assistant Skippy, yeah. who wanted to be on a show and this and that, and you know was an assistant to David Spade to try and network and get in there and do all that stuff. And then David Spade said he woke up one night and somebody was in his house and he was like, "Skippy, you want a boom?" Punched him in the face and this that. David Spade ran, got under his bed and got his shotgun, Whoa. had a shotgun, it. yeah, whole thing, and mm-hmm. it was wild. That's crazy. And he ta- I think he tased him too. The the uh, assistant. Yeah. Uh, tase, yeah. spay, tase that David Spade. That's what you get for hiring somebody named Skippy. Right. That yeah. should have been right. dead giveaway from the jump. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, how about this? I don't know whether you heard about this. Any deaths that you know about? I know Tito Jackson died. Yes. James Earl Jones. Right. Was, yeah, no. I don't think anything else. Uh, another musician slash actor oh. slash co-writer, oh. J.D. Souther. J.D. Souther, the singer, songwriter, actor who co-wrote some of the biggest hits for the Eagles, like Heartache Tonight, New Kid in Town, Best of My Love, also wrote for Linda Ronstadt and was, uh, uh, had a long solo career that included top 10 hit, You're Only, Alone, You're Only Lonely, uh, died on Tuesday at 78 years old. No cause of death was given, but it was described by his reps that he died peacefully at home in New Mexico. I don't even know who that is. You do. You, he was in the Eagles documentary. He's, uh, and he's done some acting. He was on Nashville. Uh, but he's a oh, yeah, I did. No, no, I look at him, very I handsome cowboy looking guy. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like you, if he, if you were somewhere and he walked in, you're like, that guy's somebody, he's yeah. gotta be yeah. somebody. You know what I mean? He's you know what's one. so funny is that, uh, the guys from low cash cowboys, yeah. you know, the band I was talking to them one time and he goes, Oh, I forgot the guy's name already. Anyway, he's like, ever, no, he's like, <laughs> it was a musician. Remember he had that song. What was that song called? Power windows. Do you remember that? Mm. Mm. Anyway, and he was like, uh, this guy, I looked at him and I said, I went, goes, he was in Starbucks. I saw him two days in a row and I went up to him and I go, I'm sorry. I know you just have to be somebody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people just have those looks about him. Yeah. Well, you know that there, that there's something to them there. What's uh, his name? Billy, Billy Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. yeah. And Billy Falcon, just a, a musician, but he's a writer. Right. And he writes a lot of, so, and they became friends and they started writing together. No, oh, that's just funny. The, that's the equivalent of being like uh, seeing a girl and she's pretty and be like, I'm going to go talk to her. She's pretty. Uh, a guy uh, at Punk in the Park came up to us and uh, he goes, what do you do? And I go, I work in radio. And he goes, yeah, you look like somebody, whatever. And I go, okay. And he goes, and I noticed your, my wife was wearing her Sloppy Seconds uh, t-shirt, the punk band, whatever. Hot. And he goes, I manage Sloppy Seconds. Oh, and really? he manages a couple other bands that were on the uh tour and stuff, whatever. And I was like, oh, cool. I said, you know, so we exchange information. I said, if you come to Tampa with any of the bands, let us know. Awesome. Yeah. So, but he also looked like somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He had a bunch You're of... attracted to each other. Yeah. Uh, a YouTuber who has a cameo in the new Minecraft movie. Okay. Says that Jason Momoa mistreated some of the crew. I oh, heard, I heard yeah. about this. Oh, saying that he was uh, really, he said, quote, he was just really mad at them and they weren't doing something right. He was angry and yelling. Ooh. Well, do your job, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. Happens all the time. Uh, was anybody interested in going to the Gordy's Highway 30 Music Fest? I'm, I love it. had to cancel it. I was going right after Creed. Yeah, well, uh, un- unfortunately, I think it's uh, canceled now. Uh, it was supposed to play take place next month, but it's been officially canceled. There's speculation that it was doomed by a bizarre lineup featuring Nelly, Keller Me Bad, yeah. and Vanilla Ice. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good <laughs> That's show. That's the headliner? You're telling me people didn't buy tickets to this? <laughs> I, I would go. I would, uh, I would not go to that, but I appreciate that. No, like if we had an event... That we had, like you say, they had Barbecue Love Fest featuring Vanilla Ice, Color Me Bad. I'd be like, ooh. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, I wouldn't be so bad with that. Uh, How about maybe you want to go to this? Sebastian Maniscalco. No. Not going to be at Side (laughs) Splitters. Uh, He has announced a string of uh, 2025 tour dates. He will be here at the Amelie Arena on Saturday, December 7th. I'm going back to Tampa. You can swim? Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to do Amelie Arena. Listen to me. I don't dislike Sebastian Maniscalco. 
I just remember back in the day when he couldn't sell outside supporters and we used to put them on. And now he's selling out arenas. And he's, it's and, wild. Yeah, and it's amazing. But I don't also, I don't think he's, like his humor for me isn't, you know, he had a couple of funny Italian clips and all that, but he's just not my, my thing. It, I, if he came in the studio, I would bring him in because we'd have a good interview, but I don't want to talk to him on the phone anymore. Yeah. yeah. Unless we could talk to him about not being able to swim. <laughs> I'm dying to ask him about that. Uh, his, I think it was his first special, Aren't You Embarrassed? Yeah. Was great. Yeah, yeah, he's not a bad comedian. I don't mean that by any means. Just, you know, some things make you laugh and some don't. But yeah, yeah. But also, I feel like uh, that first one really broke and it was great. And then people said, oh, my God, the way you do that, and you're so animated that he became like a character of yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's Where Larry the Cable Guy. It's too Aww. much of the same thing, whatever. It's kind of like Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, grown yeah. little man, was awesome, fantastic yeah. and stuff. And then he, it's funny because he does that. All right, let me tell you, and doing all that and stuff. And somebody told him that. I love whenever you do that. And now he does it 5,000 yeah. times. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think somebody told Dave Chappelle they like when he hits his leg with the microphone. Yeah. That's enough. <laughs> we know where to laugh, Dave. You don't have to keep hitting your leg with the microphone and doing mm-hmm. that type of stuff. Uh, and finally in news, Mike Kelty, your birthday is coming up on Friday. Yes. Are you expecting anything? Like you you, you said, are your wife, is she getting you anything? I don't know. I don't expect anything. Yeah? I, I don't. I but it's not. nice to get stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't expect anything, though. Well, don't expect this level of okay. gift from me or... Yeah. I don't know if Spanish, you went all out or Gio or Joe or Carmen, anybody. Uh, Travis Kelsey gave Patrick Mahomes a $22,000 Louis Vuitton golf bag for his 29th birthday. That's too much. Don't <laughs> yeah. you guys oh, do yeah. that. Yeah. Don't even chip it sure? on. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, like like 20, 21,000. That's, you know. Mm. I expect something, something like from Carmen. Yeah? Oh. What do you expect? No, 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 oh, no. Okay. Nothing <laughs> sexual. What? Maybe she could bake some baked goods. Oh. oh. I can Whitney, I can't something. eat them. I can't with eat them her breast milk. So no, yeah. sure. <laughs> didn't she? Didn't you make breast bread? I made bread there's with some, your breast milk. Yeah. No, oh. there's no breast milk in my bread. <laughs> She's dried up. She right. got oh. Oh. That's not how that works either. It's, not, it's uh, yeah. yeah. What's your wow. What's your 33? It <laughs> shuts down. That's it's, not how any of this oh, works. Oh yeah, no, no, you don't know. These yeah. are bad science facts. Do mm. not listen, kids. Uh, listen. You want me to bring them back, Carmen? <laughs> Carmen, now that you and Chad have a team, yeah, are you are you thinking like, hey, you know, we should have a kid. We could do this. Oh, no, nothing, oh. nothing. <laughs> like seeing those kids and seeing what Chad could do with his own son. Yeah, you could yeah. have somebody yeah. make the NFL. It's time to build a roster. Yeah, listen, I get it, and there's like that would be cool, but I'm not going through that. Going through what the pregnancy or yeah, the, the, the pregnancy, the, the birthing. I mean, me and Chad have no practice, uh, no problem practicing making a child. S- Sam's uh. pregnant. She seems pretty happy. Yeah, Aww. good for her. Yeah, all right. I just don't have that in me. Yeah, like I, li- I, mean, I like what I'm doing. Come out eventually, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just listen. They showed that video too early in school. I just you shouldn't have showed me that to me in middle school. Yeah, mm-hmm. the birthing right. video that it, it was like the drug videos. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like you didn't do drugs. I'm not having a kid. You're just yeah. gonna be a childless dog lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally okay with <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Disposable income. It's fine. Yeah. Listen, I now that I'm down to having like one kid because the other kid, I don't know, he does fine. his own thing now. Yeah. Uh, it's easy. It's easy. With one kid now. When one kid, when that kid's gone, be back to the simple life. You know what I've learned from your son Uh-oh. is uh, <laughs> well, no. He posted last night a picture of him with a uh, a rapper. So don't even say it. We haven't talked. I'm going to guess. Don't look at the camera when yeah, you're taking pictures. That's yeah, that's the move. Yeah. That's the cool yeah. move. I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. Look at the ground. Yeah, look we, at the ground. Look away. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. when we went to Greece. Uh, I learned that from Joey. Is that we went to Greece and and, and he. At that time, he was in his like peak physical performance. I mean, p- peak physical shape. Um, and he, he what? <laughs> no, you just made me think. Oh, of he he just he was playing football. He was he looked good and I, he looked like a model. And he had blonde hair uh, that was shaved down. So I would want to take pictures of him on all this beautiful scenery, you know. And I'd go, all right, Joe, let's take a picture. And he'd go, okay. And he'd look down and look away. I go, I'm I'm over here. Yeah. Uh, I, what yeah. are you What are you doing? And I look at me. And he's like, just take the picture. And then he finally stopped taking pictures with me and made my wife take him. And there he was over by a phone, by a payphone, looking at the other way. And yeah. all right, all right. Whatever. You make it look like you don't know the pictures being taken. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So, cover yeah. Al- of an album. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. Know, yeah. Right? By the way, has anybody seen the guy that does stuff? Uh, there's a video of him. 
and he'll be like walking down the stairs with a bag and trips and then the camera takes a picture and it puts Vogue up top, whatever. No. Or he's like taking a, a shoe off, whatever, and he throws the shoe and then it stops like that and he's holding the shoe and it says Prada. He does like all these different advertisements. It's so funny. And he's like, just like a fat guy that's falling down, <laughs> but they take pictures and he's holding on like this and it, it looks like a like a Cosmo cover or something. Say a pioneered fat guy's falling down. Uh, you made me think of with the pictures and stuff that, you know, I joke around with my wife we have a very good relationship but also if you heard it from the outside you would think that i was an abusive husband yeah, or something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so i'm trying to take a picture uh we're gonna see the bronx we're down there in front row and we're right there and the, the, the big banners behind us and i go let's take a selfie we'll get the banner and back whatever and i hit it and i go again I hit it and i go can you not blink your eye? Like, <laughs> stop blinking for five seconds, whatever. And she goes, what? And I go, because you, uh, uh, you look like this. And I go, so I do like nine in a row, and I go, none. I can't even use any of them. You're the woman in this situation. <laughs> well, I mean, but like, can't you stop blinking for five seconds? No, I don't if know. I said, let's take a picture, do you go like this? No, start- but <laughs> it's something you're doing is <laughs> something you're me. triggering. You're triggering. Yeah. Yeah. I think they have AI now that'll put the eyes back yeah. in yeah. and open your eyes. Yeah. Oh, they look creepy though. Yeah. They have not perfected eyes yet. It's dead eyes. <laughs> uh, that is it for news. All right, Calvin. Thank you. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about like, diddy sex parties. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Freak, all the freak loop. parties or whatever. No, what do you, what do they call them? Yeah, freak. It was a good name. Freak parties. No, it was freak offs. Freak, freak off. off. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, get your that's, freak off. Get your, get your freak, freak off. off. Yeah. Oh. I wonder I wonder how many people I wonder I always wonder it, what my uh steps of separation are between me and somebody I know that does you know goes to one of these parties. Uh, uh, probably nothing. Oh, not yeah. yeah. One. How many degrees of separation? Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like is it um you know, I know this guy who knows this guy who knows that guy, and I like how many different guys before I go. Oh, some of that guy's been to a yeah, one. You know Bert, and Bert knows somebody that's been in Tracy Morgan. Yeah, yeah. Huh. well, you know Tracy Morgan. Well, good I mean, you met Tracy Morgan. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah that's for real. I would say one degree. Joe, weren't you know a bunch of weird stuff when you were in L.A.? Sure. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't doing anything. I was. Oh, too- I, was- yeah. I know about some of the things you did. Well, I mean, there's that little a lot fresh face yeah. kid that we saw on Instagram. Yeah, the other day. Uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, well, I did some weird stuff. Yeah. See? <laughs> so, yeah, right here. No, nothing sexually weird, just uh, you know, a lot of drugs. Heard. Does that make yeah. you sad to look back to uh, Ot 8 and <laughs> see the uh, <laughs> picture of you? <laughs> No, 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 not at all. I think Somebody I'm, called it Pap Pap 1883. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right with that. The uh, old west. Yeah. I would have loved to have been with Pap Pap in L.A. in the 90s. Oh, Michael, I'm going to tell you right now, it was really a fantastic time. I bet. I mean, I was on Sunset, like, all the time. Yeah. I was going to the comedy store, going you to the Troubadour. You say like a prime, what is that, a time of your yeah, life? How do you a prime? How would you describe I that? I can't say that on the air. Yeah, oh, so, okay. we know that word. Yeah. We'll just call it Diddy time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was doing Diddy though. Doing yeah. Diddy stuff. He was yeah. doing a lot of freak offs. Yeah. Where yeah. were you living? Uh well first I lived in Canoga Park uh for like a year or two, but the drive down the the uh freeway was what like it took me like I don't know, almost an hour to get there. Yeah. It was close. So uh, we wound up moving to Studio City, which is right at the base of You say we, who is who are you uh, with at the my, time? My roommate. Because I, I was on like a I was in college for like a, a year and a half. Came home, got a job at a recording studio, and they made me a like a manager, and they wanted to move me to L.A. So I went there with this guy ah, to open gotcha. the store. Okay, so okay. I so I stayed there for five years. Saw a lot of a lot of weird stuff. Corporate Joe? Yeah. No, that was corporate Joe. That was that was rock and roll that was, Joe. That was part. That was yeah. party Joe. Company moving him around. Yeah. yeah, who's putting you in charge of anything? Manager. Uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> they paid me a lot of money too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, more than ever made since. Did you? Have- <laughs> <laughs> and that was the. S- 70s. Yeah. At that job, did you have to walk dogs or take out trash? <laughs> no. Mm. No, I did not. Oh, find it. Don't do it. Mm. Michael, want I want to do it. I'm, I'm not complaining. You. Every time Galvin brings up, you make it like you're being tortured. You've convinced him. Yeah. You've convinced I'll your him. Face. Look at him. Look Joe, him. No, you're no, the best is I'll do Maybe you can't walk the dog. Uh, yeah. That's a takeaway. You oh, a takeaway. Wait, Spanish did something. Whatever Joe was like, what's he, what's he doing? I did, no, That's my job. I want that. Uh, mm-hmm. You're the custodial manager. I'm happy to do that. Thank you, Joe. Mm-hmm. It's See? a pretty big pile of puke. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you what I'm disappointed in? <laughs> uh, his video work? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's everybody, oh, Galvin. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I what? enjoy Joe's work. Oh. Uh, the cinnamon broom. Oh, oh yeah. Not very cinnamony. Yeah. Kind of walk in here like... 
Nothing. I thought about it the other day. Yeah, because I have three in my house, and when I walked in, my eyes started burning. Yeah. But then uh, after a few days, yeah, I was they like, die off pretty fast. Uh, I think. Uh, I, think they're supposed to, I think they're supposed. I think they're supposed to last like thirty days. All right, I just look at that one over there, and I go, "I'm not getting right. it." Maybe I'll shake it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See if yeah. Brush, yeah. brush the uh, air vents, if yeah. you will. All right, let's take a break. Uh, comedian Rob Stant is here. We'll bring him in the studio. We also got a new open letter coming up this morning. It is all happening on today's program. It's a Mike Calta show. This is 1025 The Bone. Uh, in the studio with us, very funny comedian named Rob Stant. How are you, buddy? Hey, man. What's up? I'm good. How are you? So I have uh, I have so many things to ask you about. So I get pitched on guests all the time. Mm-hmm. I get publicists sending me garbage every day. And I, for some reason, they sent me uh, your guy. Now, how is it that you have? I I know all. So you get garbage every day, and Rob. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it wasn't Rob lumping that in. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, how uh, you seem like a guy who is not not um, not new in comedy, maybe, but an up and comer. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yet you have a whole team of people that work for you already. Uh, yeah, I'm very fortunate. Um, I I you know social media has helped me out a lot. I recently had this you know uh, studio. Um, reach out to me, and they wanted to, you know, kind of represent me. So oh, I, I really? Got, yeah, so I got a few people help me out. Uh, they're the reason why I'm in Florida now, well, um, why I, I'm talking to you. So. I'll tell you, they're doing a good job because they sent me a thing and said, Comedian Rob Stan's going to be rolling through town. Maybe you'd be a good guest for your show. Mm-hmm. And I look at all these things. I most, I would say 97% rate of me going garbage <laughs> and just pushing it aside. And I watched your uh, clip, and I thought, oh, that's funny. So I went to YouTube, and I watched more of your stuff. Next thing you know, a half hour later, I'm still watching. Uh, the guy. They're very funny. Oh, and thanks. it's funny, too, because whenever I came in, you go, you asked me if I had heard of him, and I go, that name sounds familiar. And I had just seen your clip about those guys stealing your joke. Oh, yeah. Uh, explain, explain that, because he was starting to tell me that, too. Yeah, so, uh, so I posted a joke. Uh, not too long ago and it got it's the most viral joke I probably have like on any of my social medias it got like 20 some million views wow which is great because you know can you monetize that you know there's a way but I have this conspiracy theory that when you do monetize stuff it gets pushed far further down oh, on Instagram okay. because then they're like oh you're he's making like money off of it and it's I don't know it's my tinfoil hack conspiracy. I, I, I got you I got you <laughs> have you um, met Spanish yeah. <laughs> hello <laughs> Yeah, I uh, but so the the video it did really well, got like twenty some million views, um, but then some uh, somebody stole it. These two like influencers, they have like some podcast or whatever, and they were they were doing my joke, but they were pretending it was like an organic conversation, yeah, yeah, yeah. like literally doing my setup punchline, my setup punchline, like how we're talking now. And how did you find out? How did it come to you? Uh, so I actually had some people who listen uh, to my podcast tagging me in the comments of their video being like, hey, Rob, these guys are Ripping stealing your bit. Ripping off stuff, yeah. Yeah, saying words that I can't say on radio. <laughs> um, yeah. And, uh, and so I saw that and I was like, wow this sucks but i was like let me try to use it as an opportunity to like get some content out of it which i thought was great because i saw that you kind of responding and Mm -hmm. making it funny and not even bashing them being like hey guys you know all right if you want to do this like let's work together so what did you what did you do so i i just made a video being like i just called them out on it basically and then they, they're these really they're really good looking dudes i mean they're they're shredded they're like they're they're just uh, like really good looking guys and i was like well they stole my joke I'm going to steal their bodies. And the end of the video is me doing push-ups <laughs> with, like, my tour dates on. So, it was great. I, yeah, I took it as an opportunity. I was like, how can I make this something that, like, I'm always looking to, like, like find something out of, you know, whatever. Like, how can I promote this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's better It's better that you weren't just bitter and be like, these guys stole my stuff, you know, yeah. be negative. That Making it funny and, you know, doing that and the push-ups, I thought was Do great. they ever reach yeah. back out to you? No, so they blocked me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I messaged them. I was like, hey, let me know when you guys want me to come on the podcast. And then they, uh, they left me on red. And I really, I mean, look, it is crappy that they stole my joke. Sure. Yeah. But I mean, I don't. I want to give them like they don't know any better. They're just two hot dudes who are just like being like, yeah, we'll steal this <laughs> two this, hot this dudes. sweaty little guy's <laughs> bit, and who's who's ever gonna know? We used to uh, we used to do afternoons, and we did afternoons were a lot more loose. We used to do, and I'm talking ten, twenty years ago. We used to do some crazy stuff that we couldn't do now, mm-hmm. and. 
it would show up. We do we come up with a game or something or a contest, and then Ellen would be doing the same thing like uh, oh. two months later, and we go, "How is it?" And then we do something, and Jimmy Fallon will be doing it uh, a month later. And we're like, "What's going on?" And we find out that these writers they go to websites and they listen, and then they then they pitch these things like they're their ideas. Yeah, and uh, they they're just basically stealing. I don't think Ellen ever heard our show. She oh. didn't do it, you know. Well, yeah, because a lot of these comedians have ghostwriters and stuff, and yeah. I've seen that where like some comics are getting called out for stealing jokes. And it's not, they're not stealing it, obviously. Um, they have way too much to lose. Right, right. But whoever they're hiring to write for them is, you know, doing yeah. what you just said. How old of a guy are you? I'm 29. 29, young, married. Yeah. I, I learned from your act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, to, to a woman. I know I was, <laughs> I said those guys were hot. <laughs> I have a wife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what made you get married so, so young? Uh, so I've been with my wife, you know, I was, we started dating. I was 18 and she was 17. Uh, so we've been together, you know, all th like since the end of high school up until now. And yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, what's going to happen when you, when you hit it big and you're really, and then girls are throwing themselves at you and you're going to be like, damn it. Uh, man, that's, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's lonely in the hotel rooms. We'll see. Yeah, I, I bet. And it's like, just an early see, time. I can see for why you. people cheat. I get it now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cause you can get away with it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Meanwhile, my wife is eight feet away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I'm not. I, I love my wife. She's great. She's the best. You know, she's very supportive um, of me doing my thing. So yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. Well, how long will you, will you give it? Like, do you have a plan? How long until you become super famous? Oh, I thought or... you were saying until I get, like, divorced. Wait, no, 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 no. I mean, like, <laughs> like I, I don't know. I don't know how you guys yeah. do it. I mean, we're friends with a lot of comedians who have made it super big. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that I would have made it all the way through those that period of on my way up because it just get all that traveling and being alone like, it, yeah. like it just seems miserable. Well, I mean, it's you know the moments like this make it worth it. Like yeah. stuff like this and you if know. this is your goal, boy, you <laughs> yeah. are really missing you out. Did it? Yeah, this is, yeah. this is cool. Um, but I mean, were you, know, you on the way here? Were you like, I'm going to do the biggest show in the state of Florida? This is pretty awesome. And then you pulled up and you're like, it's in this guy's garage. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you have a beautiful house. It's, uh, it's awesome. Thank you. I just always wonder what people think when they, like, we've had some big time celebrities coming up and uh, they have to go in my garage. Mm -hmm. And when you first walk in, it's a garage yeah. until you get in here. So I, I just always wonder what people are thinking when they first get here. No, it's actually, I was pulling up. I was like, holy crap, holy crap. This is the nicest house I've ever seen. Oh. So. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. Some of my neighbors got some pretty nice houses. Okay. But uh, anyway, this is Rob Stan. Rob is going to be at Side Splitters. Now, You've never played there before, right? No, no. Yes, yeah, my first time in Tampa. Uh, first time at Side Splitters tonight. Uh, still some tickets left, so yeah, come check me. Yeah, out. Yeah, I'll tell you, I, I I very rarely do I get um, just like somebody right off the start. It usually takes something to grow on you, but your stuff is. If you haven't seen them, go search them on YouTube or yeah. follow them on social media, and you'll you'll find some really funny stuff. Thanks. Also, don't be confused and think that this is Will and we're pulling a prank oh, on you. Oh, yeah. Uh, guy that works on the uh, station, you guys could be brothers. Yeah. Uh, like, very, you sound very similar. You look similar. Okay. Like, yeah. Very good-looking guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super hot. You look like Bob from uh, <laughs> Top Gun. Did you see the uh, Top Gun Maverick? Oh, yeah. Do you look a little like Bob? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See? I saw that movie in uh, 4D. 4D? Oh. Yeah, it was not worth it. It was just... It was just uh, Two hours of my chair shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty rough. But we, we, you know, I didn't really talk to you about this, but I went to the, the Sphere this weekend to mm -hmm. see the UFC fight. Oh, that's awesome, dude! It was so amazing. But they so explain this to me. When uh, what is a drum? A trigger on a drum? A trigger on a drum is whenever you hit it, it sends a signal, and then there's a sampled sound of a recorded drum, and that'll play. So I think it's similar to that. That they had the uh, canvas. Whenever you, or whatever they use in the octagon. It would make a sound? It, whenever they hit, well, it would, the whole thing would rumble. Like, yeah. a whole seat would rumble. Oh, yeah. But also, this, you'd hear the sound, too. And boom, and everything would shake. Oh, that's cool. But it was every time they hit, so they must have had it easily triggered yeah, to, yeah. to do that. It was it yeah. was, it was was awesome. Yeah, yeah. The sphere is definitely, it's on my bucket list. It's, definitely. You got to go. You look like a guy who would go see the Grateful Dead. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny about this? So, I really, I don't listen to the Grateful Dead. I'll be honest. I right, like you already. I, <laughs> so I bought I bought a T-shirt that had their their logo the teddy bears on it right and I just thought it was a cool shirt right. I had I was like I like that and I I didn't know it was a Grateful Dead shirt and then people kept walking up to me and being like Stay dead brother and I was like oh. <laughs> I had no I idea like, what what are you talking and everybody was saying it I was like did I die was <laughs> I swear to God I had no idea it was yeah. a Grateful Dead shirt and then 
like somebody pointed it out. They're like, yeah, Grateful Dead. I was like, oh. Yeah. And I, I had to stop wearing the shirt. You just thought it was a cute teddy bear yeah, shirt with yeah. little lightning bolts on it or whatever they have. And he was a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, yeah, I don't, like, it's, yeah, I was a poser for a while with that band, but. Listen, uh, I admire you more for the shirt than listening <laughs> to the band. Yeah, I don't, uh, if there's an opportunity for you to go to do anything there, it doesn't have to be a concert or anything. Just mm -hmm. go see whatever movie they're showing in there or yeah. whatever. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's legal out in Vegas too, so I might, you know. You 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 weed guy? What do you do? Um, I've been I've been getting into mushrooms recently. Really? Trying that yeah. out? Yeah. Now, how are you taking them through? Uh, like like an edible, like a candy or chocolate or something bar. like chocolate? Yeah. 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 And how do you know how much to eat? So they they have it. So they're supposed to have it measured or whatever. Like they have like it's like like it says in the bar. It's like two bricks mellow. Yeah. Four bricks, the walls will melt or whatever. Because I get them in uh, D.C. They're legal out there. Okay. And uh, I'll I'll bring them home with me or whatever. Anytime I go, I do a lot of stuff at the D.C. Improv. Right. And I'll uh, I'll, I'll bring some candy bars home or whatever. And uh, yeah, they usually they have like on the on, here's how much you take. Now, granted, there's been a couple times where I've taken two two bars and i was like i don't feel anything there's right. been times where i've taken two the same pieces and i'm like oh yeah. this is just some guy in a garage mm. just mixing the mixing stuff together. Yeah, yeah so you don't you don't know the guy's also high doing it um, i don't i don't do i don't smoke pot i don't mm. drink i mean i drink a little bit but i uh you know burke kreischer yeah burke gave me one of those bars okay and he goes uh here here take this take this and i go okay and he goes just eat one square, don't eat, and he goes, no, no, eat three squares, eat three squares. And I go, no, 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 I don't, not, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm a, now I pick it up and I look yeah. at it every once in a while, and I go, nah, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's my my motto is it's always better to be not high enough than too high. Exactly, it's better to be disappointed than to be on the couch like, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. Now my son has taken them, mm -hmm. and uh, he's he's told me that he's had some. He's had some instances where things were melting, and I don't know if I can handle that. Oh yeah, so I mean, I I never had any, I never saw anything melt, but I was uh, I I was watching TV once, and it felt like I was watching the TV in layers. Right. Like how like how this desk is here and yeah. you're there and the walls there. I could see that like through the TV. <laughs> And I was like, I have to go outside. Yeah. Like, now I understand why people take mushrooms in like nature because I was like, I got to get out of this house. And as soon as I went outside, like the trees were everything. It's like everything's breathing. Yeah, what it yeah, feels yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Um, but normally I just I only take enough just for like now just like the body high. Like I went to go see uh, Weezer at uh, the Wells Fargo Center in Philly, and uh, I took mushrooms before that, and just just enough like two two pieces. Yeah, I think three or four. That's when you start to kind of you know hallucinate or whatever. And uh, it was, but it was great. I felt great. The Flaming Lips opened for them. Yeah, how was that? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. I, I had never seen them live before, but um, they, it's like, it's like they knew. It's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They, they had all the lights going and they had these giant blow ups. And yeah. these, uh, Doesn't I, he come out in the uh, ball and he like yeah, comes out into the audience and stuff? Oh, uh, he didn't do that. Oh. But, uh, but I went to go get a drink. So my wife, who really never does like drugs at all, she took mushrooms that night too. And uh, I went to go get a beer, and as I was coming back, I was like, cause we were in the pit. Right. I was I was walking down the stairs, and I looked over, and they had these two giant blow up eyeballs and lips, and they were moving around the stage. And I was like, oh my god, my poor wife is probably freaking Going out. Going right nuts. Yeah, yeah. So I went to go check on her, and she was like, she's like, is this really happening? And I was like, yeah, it's okay, just relax. And then, but then I came down during Weezer, and that was nice because I was just like, all right, I had the peak, and now we're now we're chilling. I always thought it would be cool as if I got guys like if you were here, if I got guys that I like, and we we uh, or girls too, whatever, got in a room, and we all took a bunch of mushrooms, just videotaped it oh, for yeah. an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm afraid I'm going to say racist stuff. And <laughs> oh, so just, no. We're not necessarily <laughs> why racist. Why racist? I don't know. You just know why? Things, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> you know just, I mean, just things that get me in trouble. You know, they, they have like I was saying on the bar, they actually have unit of measurement for racism. <laughs> yeah. If you eat the entire bar, you will say racist yeah. stuff. Yeah. It just says uh, five pieces Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> Six pieces. Mm. No. Uh, this is comedian Rob Stanton who's with us. He is going to be at Size Putters tonight, 960 yeah. 1197 or sides to get tickets. I wish it wasn't a, a Wednesday night. I'd love to come out and see oh, you. I really find your stuff to be very funny. Yeah, it's uh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, tickets are you can also get tickets in my link tree on my Instagram at uh, Rob Stant Comedy. And go watch him because he's funny. And uh, do you know who else? Uh, well, who do people tell you you look like besides Bob from Maverick? Um, I've been getting, man, I get. Because uh, I got one. Ever since I saw you in the video, I'm like, 
Oh, he looks like that guy, but nobody's going to get this reference. I used to have this bit. You know something funny? I used to have this bit, and I would open with it on stage. And it's kind of hacky now. I don't really do it anymore. But I used to go, I look like John Lennon and the guy who shot him. <laughs> yeah. And then recently, Sean Lennon, John Lennon's son, followed me on Instagram. Oh, really? And he was like, and I didn't even realize till somebody pointed it out because I have my uh, notifications turned off. Yeah. And so I messaged him and I was like, hey, man, thanks for the follow. You know, love your stuff. And then he was like, yeah, I love comedians who aren't afraid to push the envelope. And I wonder if he had like. Yeah, seen somebody that. probably turned yeah. them on to that. Yeah. yeah. That's so, a funny joke, though. Yeah. I was, yeah, I, I was opening uh, with that for a while. And then I just, I just got so tired of, of doing it. Yeah. You're too young to know who this is, but have you ever even seen the Brady Bunch? Oh, yeah. I know exactly oh, what I know you're, you're talking about. about. Um, uh, I can't. He's uh, Danny Bonaduce, right? No, no, no. no that's a Partridge family. family. Oh, my God. No, oh, this yeah, kid's... I am, I'm way too young. To yeah, uh, this kid... So the Brady Bunch kids got older, and when they got older, they are like kind of losing their appeal, so they brought in a younger kid, a cousin. Okay. Cousin Oliver. Yep. Oh. And you do a little bit like Cousin Oliver. Okay. Now, don't... Galvin's going to bring up a picture, and yeah. I feel like the one you bring up is going to make him get mad at me. Be like, why are you showing me this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. have the glasses yeah. and the long hair, and, you know... It's around, it's around glasses. Yeah. But you, you said this was Rob when he was a kid. You'd yeah. be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I can yeah, see that. pulled up my picture. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I got Gabe Newell recently, or... Uh, the guy who invented steam. That, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm getting his last name right. It's uh, Gabe. Whoever invented uh, steam on the computer. I, yeah. I said, oh, say, steam. Okay. You know I thought I was thinking the steam engine. I was like, <laughs> oh, that was no, somebody yeah, else. Whoever invented uh, the, the I steam program. Yeah, oh, the steam I see program. him. Yeah. yeah. You know I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, look, I uh, I'm glad you made it in. Yeah. I'm glad you get here. to come here. Hopefully, uh, next time you know you're back in town, you'll come on the show. Yeah. Uh, I I want to do something together. I want to I want to have you come out to one of our live gigs or something. Oh, I, I want our audience to see you because you're very funny. You let me know, man. I'm, yeah. I'm down. You know, it's it's not that long of a flight for me. It's you know, flights to Florida are relatively cheap. So where do you go? You go from here to. Uh, to Orlando or to Winter Haven? Uh, yeah. So uh, side splitters tonight. And then I'm, I'm crashing in Tampa, and then I'm at the uh, Laugh Out Lounge in Winter Haven tomorrow. Do you know anybody here, or are you just, uh, just, you kinda, mean just chilling just out for the night? It, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, look, dude, very funny. Thank you. Oh, and uh, and your team of people. You have a team of people already. Yeah. You do a good job. And it's, yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. I was, uh, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate. Social media has done a lot for me, and uh, these guys are great. Uh, Gold Studios, I'll just give them a shout out. Yeah. They, uh, they've been working with me, so. Good. Well, all right, man. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure Thank to meet you Thank you for guys. getting up early and coming here. Rob Thank Stan, so see him at Sidesputters tonight, yeah. 960-1197 or sidesputterscomedy.com. And plug your socials or whatever you want yeah. to find you. Yeah, so uh, I'm on Instagram at Rob Stant Comedy. Uh, YouTube, everything is Rob Stant Comedy. Uh, I have a special on YouTube called Bobby Boy. And I have a podcast also called Two in the Stink. So <laughs> uh, give that a listen as well. Who, do you do that with anybody? Or do yeah, by yourself? My do you buddy, do my, uh, one of my best buds, Jim Gillespie. Um, he, he usually goes on the road with me uh, when anytime I can like drive somewhere. Yeah. I just couldn't. I couldn't afford to fly him out for this one. I could barely afford to fly myself out for this one. Yeah, it sucks right now, but I, I have a feeling that in, I have a feeling that in a couple <clears> of years we're gonna it's gonna be hard for us to get you back on the show. Oh, dude, not at all. I won't forget about this. Uh, as a bird used to say, we were just talking bird. about Sebastian, who used to yeah. side splitters and couldn't fill the room and stuff, and now you know he's gonna be back here at the Emily Arena. We yeah. only put Sebastian Maniscalco on the show because he was in that Vince Vaughn Wild West comedy movie. Okay, and uh, we brought him on the show, and we were like, all right, we'll give this guy a shot. <laughs> and then he was pretty funny. Yeah, and we had to get really relationship with him and then all of a sudden one day we're like there's no way we get Sebastian Maniscalco again no, nobody arenas. rings the doorbells <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way I texted you something uh, take a look at it because I didn't want to say it on air because not sure whatever but uh, just an idea yeah I yeah yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say it yeah yeah we have a we have a cruise that we go on you'd oh. be great for the you'd be great for the cruise oh dude let me know honestly yeah. that would be a dream come we do it every year this is our 18th one do you know uh, the dates or anything? It's in April. April. Okay. April, yeah. in April I'm wide open in April. Right that now, would be so. fun. That would be fun if we dude, take around. I'm actually, it's funny. I'm going on a cruise just for fun with my family in February. Yeah. So let's let's run it, dude. Just back to back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we went one year. I got off a cruise, got into a car, drove to Orlando the same day, the same day, and went and got on and met my family went on another cruise. Oh, wow. Yeah. So They're fun. I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, good. Rob Stan, go see him at Tide Spurs tonight. We'll take a quick break. Galvin's got a new open letter. We'll do that next at 1025 The Bone. Saturday, I wonder what kind of shape I'll be in because Saturday I, I would like to go out to uh, Shark Coast. After I need a good yeah. night's rest from missing the concert, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your I don't need your negativity in my life. It's Carmen. your birthday. Yeah. 
Friday. You do what you want. What if I do want to just lay in bed? Nice. Then it's your birthday. All right. See you guys on Friday. Yeah. Lay in bed. What do you say, Joe? You have Rajuni? Yeah. Rajuni. You get Rajuni from uh, 1201 until 1159 the next day. Oh. That means you're right about everything. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, everyone agrees with you. What's different from every other day? (laughs) Oh, oh, oh. wow. Burn. Oh, fire. (laughs) I wish you were on fire. (laughs) (laughs) That's his birthday wish. (laughs) (laughs) He's not going to blow you out. Uh, Anyway, that is... uh, that, I don't know. I don't know. I, all I'm saying is that I have to get there. I have to get the Shark Coast at some point. I've been saying this for like three weeks now. Yeah, me too. I do have to go to Sarasota on Thursday. Maybe I'll see if my uh, if my wife will leave early with me and we can go to we can go stop by Shark Coast. Yeah. Right. Some ammo. What? Silencer. I, I bought something a long time ago, and it, they do the engraving over there, and I had it engraved, and I had to leave it so it can get engraved, and I still haven't had time to go pick it up. Oh. That's what I need. Yeah. They're like, it's done. It's yeah. been done. Yeah. yeah, like it's sitting here <clears throat> occupying space in our in our vault. So <laughs> get in here, will you? All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he does it every Wednesday in the 8 o'clock hour, and he just finished writing it a couple of seconds ago. It's Maybe. time to check in with Galvin. <laughs> he has a brand new open letter. And now an open letter from Galvin. This is an open letter to things we just trust. Dear things we just trust, seriously, every time I drive, I try not to think about the fact that I'm in a two-ton missile going 70 miles per hour, and the whole time I just trust that this thing's going to work properly. I don't know how to build a car. I don't know who put my car together. I have no idea whether there was their first day or their last day, or if their wife just cheated on them and they want to get back at someone, anyone. And then just one day I'm driving down the veterans and my wheels fall off because this guy's mad that Danielle couldn't keep it in her pants. Plus the fact that we're trusting that Kyle in the F-350 isn't looking for his can of skull on the floor of his truck and veers into my lane. And I'm not paying attention because I'm looking at my phone because Lilu Love just posted a new picture of her goods (laughs) on Twitter. I can tell you one thing I'm not getting a pager one because I don't want it exploding next to my junk. And two, because I'm not a small-time weed dealer from the 90s. We trust so many things, and if you start thinking about it, you will absolutely lose your mind. Is my house built on a sinkhole? Is this the right medicine? Is the doctor that prescribed this medicine really a doctor? I don't know. We're all just trusting that this person went to medical school and studied and did well. I'm just trusting that this guy didn't just print out a degree off of Google. Is Yale spelled with two L's? The people that have the most to trust out of anyone on the planet is single women going on dates. Good luck with that. Not only are you out there trying to find a future husband, but you also have to try and figure out if he's a former or future murderer. So where did you grow up? Do you own any pets? Are you going to murder me and then wear my skin like a suit while you dance around in the woods under a full moon howling like a wolf? Just let me know. Whatever order you want to answer those. I'm Galvin from the Mike Kelton Show, and this has been an open letter to things we just trust. Without getting too graphic about it, I think about sometimes meeting a guy and then letting him have sex with you and what he's doing to you and giving him full control of that. That alone right there. You mean ladies, so you? not you. So who is this guy having sex yeah, with? Yeah, no, I like to go out and meet some guy. No, I mean, if you're a lady, yeah. okay. if you're a lady and you're like, I just oh, met yeah. this guy an hour ago or two hours ago, now I'm going to let him come home mm-hmm. and think of the things I'm going to allow him to do to me in, with such great force and repetition. Also, we've all been with a girl that you just met yeah, and you're doing stuff and then hand around throat. Yeah. That's the craziest. And she's like, I'm going to trust you while you're doing that to put your hand around my throat, squeeze enough to where I enjoy it, but also you're not going to murder me. Right, right, right. That's a lot of trust. Yeah. And I often think about um, driving in a car. Listen, I am going to be honest with you about something. (laughs) Okay. I'm not, I'm a good driver. When I'm paying attention to driving, <laughs> when but when that? I yeah, when yeah. I'm texting and of the yeah. time playing Pokemon and all the other things that I can do while I'm driving because I get easily bored. I'm driving that that two ton missile yeah straight up the road. I love it. And, and while there's cars, 
that way four tons carrying gasoline next to me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think about that a lot. That's when I feel the most grateful for being alive at this point in time. Yeah. You know? I think, oh, oh I think uh, Spanish back to the days when I used to drive, uh, oh. drink and drive drunk. Like, I, I could never see myself doing that yeah. again, ever. I'm talking about 20 years ago. Yeah. But driving home from the Dallas Bull with the uh, with the road moving and my eye, I mean, there were times where I'd have to pull over a couple of times. Like, how is I so stupid? How is I so dumb? Those nights, uh, I did this a couple of times in college, but those nights when you have no recollection of getting home no. at all and you wake up the next day and you're like, there's no way. And I'm driving a Hummer. On top of that, uh, yeah, driving home. At least it's safe. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, not, it's safe for me, but well, I, I think about how many times I, I drove, and I'm, I'm not saying it was millions of times, mm-hmm. but how many times I drove home when I probably shouldn't have drove, and how uh, not only did I manage to not get arrested or anything, but how I uh, didn't hurt myself or somebody else, and yeah. I, I, I'm grateful for that every day. I really am. Like, you could have changed the entire trajectory of your entire oh, yeah. 100%. life and existence. A hundred percent. I'll tell you, I told you that uh, I remember the the day, the last day I did that, and it, I blame it on Galvin and his brother. <laughs> they got me so drunk at the Hard Rock that I had to go hide behind a dumpster and sleep in my car. Yeah, uh, because after napping in the bathroom, after napping in the bathroom, because I just couldn't, I couldn't see, I couldn't see the road anymore yeah. behind a church, behind a dumpster. I just sit there and 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 with my AC on and my lights off, hoping to God a cop wouldn't come over there and pull me over. It's, it's crazy, smart, uh, like butterfly effect type stuff. Yeah. When you think about it. Oh yeah, you know, for sure. If you had one one decision, one thing goes the other way, and everything's completely different. Yeah, I haven't made any bad decisions that bit me in the ass. You know what I mean? Like I got away with a lot of things, but yeah. I, I never that one did not bite me in the ass and, and I'll never dream, drink and drive again. I'll never have two drinks and get behind the wheel ever. When I used to work at the station at night, when I was working with Mo, I would drive across the Franklin on the way home and you would see, because it's lit up, everybody yeah. with their phones. Oh, yeah. like, you see people looking at their phones yeah. like as we're driving yeah, like, you know, pretty eight, good, though. Eight, eight miles an hour. <laughs> no, yeah. I, catch, I, catch, I catch a squirtle at yeah. 85 miles an hour. Yeah. But it's like, man, this person's not, you could Here. see it because their whole face is lit up. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just show you the thing, okay? I no. keep my phone. Shut up, Carmen. They, I keep my phone over here. All right. Yeah. What? Because they show whenever like drunk driving, distracted driving, whatever. If you look for a half a second, yeah. you're traveling like 500 yards. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the the, the response. No, time, I get time. it. Right. But, yeah. but what I'm just saying is uh, the phone, if I'm looking at the, at the windshield, the phone is in my peripheral and I don't need, I mean, if I'm texting, that's one thing, but if I'm just trying to throw a pokeball at something, yeah, you, you. By the way, you just drove four miles. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. what, what am I in the DeLorean? Yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like you, you know, you look down for three seconds. Oh yeah, I was turning it on. But no. I'm just saying, like if I if I'm doing this and I do this and I could do that, I don't know. I've, I feel like I could do that. By the way, totally not distracted driving at all. But my wife and I were over in Orlando the, oh, this weekend, and I didn't know the roads, whatever. And we're going back to the hotel, and I'm just cruising along, and, so, and there is a sharp turn, like sharp bend, whatever. And I went, Arr! my wife goes, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> it was great. I started laughing. I, I go, I, I get it. I was going too fast, 100%. But then for the rest of the weekend, I was going, who is the son of God? Jesus. Uh, did you come? We, we went and surprised Bert in Orlando one time. Were you there at the Orlando Improv? I know Moose was there. It might have been know, before maybe, you got here. I'm not sure. Yeah. But anyway, Bert was performing in Orlando. And we showed up there and uh, went to the show. And then we spent the night in Orlando. I think I was. I yeah. Think I was. And then the next day, I got up and I left. And there was so much construction by the hotel that I didn't know where. I kept missing the highway to know where it was. And all of a sudden, cop pulled me over. Like, but boom, I'm like, oh, I'm lost. What am I doing? And he comes over and he goes, how you doing? I go, good. He goes, where are you going? I go, I'm trying to find the I-4, but I, I'm stuck in all this construction and I keep going in circles. And he was like, okay, he goes, can I see your license? I give it to him. He comes back, goes, do you know why I pulled you over? I go, no, I definitely wasn't speeding. He goes, no, you're going down a one way. Oh. <laughs> went, oh. He goes, but I get it. It's, it's yeah. confusing yeah. over here. There were cones everywhere. It's confusing so. when they put all those barrels up. You don't yeah. know which way is what. I'm like, I didn't ah. know what was going yeah. on. So. I made it home alive. Thank God. That's dude. all that counts. Yeah, that is all that counts. Has anybody been to Aquatica? Uh, yeah. This in SeaWorld? Yeah. Is that the water park or yeah. is that the, what's the other one? Discovery oh, Discovery Cove. Cove. Yeah. yeah. That's where you swim with the dolphins. Yeah, I've yeah, been to that no, one. Aquatica is great. It's is a it? lot of fun. Yeah. So they have like the wave pool thing, which I didn't go into, but then they have the coves where you go back there and you have your own uh, refrigerator and attendant and all that stuff. 
but that's the one where they have uh, all the different uh, stuff that you can go down rides and everything, but it has, uh, you jump in the water and that's how you get to the different spots. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah. yeah this yeah. is like the lazy river and you just jump in and go, and go over there and then get off and go. That's where my son and I saw the super high up slide down water thing. And he goes, we should go on that. And I go, okay. And then we get up there and I'm like, this is so high up in the air. And you get in the tube and oh, you go like oh, this. Yeah. And I go, you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? And he goes, uh, you go first. And I go, okay. I'm going down this thing and I'm like, this is so fast and water is going in every part of my body. And I get down to the bottom and I stand up and it was like, I just fought Mike Tyson. I'm like, Oh my, <laughs> what the, and my son comes down and I go, you all right. And he goes, yeah. And I go, Pretty wild, right? Mm. And he goes, yeah. I go, why did we do that? <laughs> yeah, see, that's my thing. I'm not going. I, I'll be good with the lazy river. Yeah, well, but they got little cabanas here. Too? They got cabanas. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's a lot of fun for All sure. Right. All right, I'm gonna do that. Thank you, Calvin. You, you just made up my mind. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a break. Seven two seven five seven nine one zero two five or eight hundred seven seven one one zero two five. It's the Mike Calvin Show. This is one zero two five. The Bone. What did you just take a little bite of? No, no, I, I was not taking a bite. I uh, was uh, wiping my mouth off. Leaving a bite? I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to have a uh, hot dog bun residue on my Wait, on my mouth. You're Is that what you're eating? Hot dogs? <laughs> no, I was eating a, a Stelladoro cookie, and I looked at Mike, and he looked at me. He goes, "Oh Jesus, I thought you were eating a hot dog." He just looked like he was holding a big hot dog. Bun. And because yeah. the cookies are the color of the bun, I said, "No, no, just the bun, Michael." <laughs> uh, true or false? You've eaten a hot dog bun with a payday on it like it was a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to answer? <laughs> and then put a little chocolate sauce Ooh! on like mustard. Nutella is so good on a payday. Yeah. I bet. It's so good. A little hazelnut. How you're not 400 pounds, I don't have no idea. Me either. It'll yeah. all catch up to me, I'm sure, yeah. one day. Yeah. My what? heart is just going to explode. No, but one day you're going to go, uh-oh, I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it'll just hit you. Uh, and you'll be like, oh, oh man. Uh-oh. You know what's weird when you see somebody that you've known their whole life to uh, to be skinny, and then all of a sudden they're, they're fat now? I'm trying to think of who. I saw a picture of Seth recently. He got really fat. Oh, and yeah. Who else um, mm -hmm. in the building? That used to be skinny, but it's now fat. Dizzy got fat once. He looked like a little chipmunk. Oh. Yeah, he's good now though. It's good now, Dizzy. If you're listening, yeah. I saw Dizzy. Uh, it was a picture from the Punch Out, and he looked like a completely different person. I don't think yeah. Dizzy really gets fat. I think he just wears sweatshirts. He <laughs> he, he bulks up. You have to hide the fat. Hmm? Oh, uh, believe me, I know all about that. Listen, I know all the fat guy moves. Who do you? Do you Hoodie when it's 98 degrees outside, that's hiding the fat. No. Yeah, that's Bobby Kelly calls that the cover. You put yeah. the cover on. Oh, girls used to love wearing the flannel around the uh, waist because yeah. they had the big ass. Oh, oh we wear... still do. Yeah, that's... yeah, but I want to go up. I want to be like, you know, we see it. Yeah. Don't. I mean, why bother? Don't unless it's not uncomfortable for you. Well, and it's not really about the butt. It's actually about the stomach. It's about the tie mm. where you tie it because oh, it hides the little, the little, oh, it hides yeah. the little belly. Yeah. It's not hiding the butt, and it, it actually accentuates the butt. Mm. Oh. It hides the belly. Liars. Joseph. It it's not. We're not lying. <laughs> well, if you see it, now you know what you're getting into. You okay, know what Mr. Else? We all wear black shirts, so we, you can't tell anything. Yeah. Uh, I'm wearing everything. red today. You know, we know everything. You know what else uh, <laughs> helps the belly is uh, the gym. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Speaking yeah, of you should try it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I will, you, and I'll, you, I'll, I'll, I'll video it and put a, together a montage, <laughs> and I'll you put should. cool music. You should. <laughs> You're doing good videos, Carmen. I like him. Hey, listen, your brother even commented on one of my videos, oh. and it made me so excited. Oh, oh I, I comment on your videos. You don't say nothing to me. Because Galvin's brother, for people who don't know, is a bodybuilder. I mean, I go to the and, gym. <laughs> and, listen, and everyone who gets on my, and every guy, every keyboard tough guy, every guy who also goes to the gym is, you should do it this way, and you should, like, your posture isn't that great. I swear, I swear that. on everything holy to me that I don't know what he posted. Did he post good form? Yes. Oh, ah. yeah. oh good. Said, yeah, he said that I have excellent form on all of my workouts. And it, I go, thank you. It's funny because listen, I you know obviously I don't work out, but I have worked out with my brother, and he would tell me like if you're doing something whatever, he goes no when you do that, do like this whatever. He goes that way will hit, and you're like oh my god, like little tiny oh, yeah. things mm -hmm. that make such a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for yeah. sure. He so yeah, when he said that, I was like oh my god. <laughs> he it didn't post. Ooh, excited. sweaty lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only guy that posts that stuff, buddy. I didn't know it was like a family thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, you've been you've been hitting it hard, Carmen. 
Yeah, I've been trying. I used, I was going to the gym like four days a week, and now with my schedule, I'm only able to make it like two days a week. And since I haven't been drinking, I'm kind of on the Spanish train, and I've been hitting some sweets at night. Oh, so chunking yeah. it up. I you want some paydays? I'll bring some for you tomorrow. I'm not chunking it up. I'm replacing the sugar with other sugar, and <laughs> it's still, and it's fine. Com- yeah. Comfortably in a relationship. Yeah. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't listen if to I was Carmen. comfortable in a relationship, then why would I have all these workout videos? Plump it up, man. Let's go. I'm not plumping it yeah, up. Yeah, you I'm, and me. I'm maintaining. To the plump high grounds we go. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> but I've been, yeah, I've been having fun. I've been just working. Basically, I've been making these videos just to work on my editing skills. Yeah, so. you're, that, you're doing well there, too. That's one thing I don't know how to do. I don't know how to edit video. Yeah, and oh. I have to. T- I try to do it on my computer, and I have to tell you, they've made it so easy to do it on your phone that it is hard on my computer. My my uh, <laughs> my phone. Th- <laughs> oh, <all> right. <laughs> everybody, looked at, the, everybody looked at Joe. Maybe that's the problem, Joe. You're using a computer. <laughs> try your phone. Okay. I gave him a phone. <laughs> I know she was using it. What? What? Uh, <laughs> I can't. And I find it hard to edit on the uh, on the Instagram and all that because my thumbs are too fat. Right. And so that is a thing, but they have apps that help like pinch it and make it bigger. And, you know, yeah, you can I, need, I have a hard time pinching it. Can I tell you the my best video to date right now has nothing to do with the gym or anything like that? My laundry detergent. I know. It has over 300,000 views. Are you serious? Yeah. I swear to God. Get and that the, algorithm. Listen, and these Karens in there are going, you were doing a great job until you put those Deadly yep. cancerous chemical oh. boosters in it, oh. and I have just been carrying, carrying, carrying. What is a chemical booster? So, like you know the well, you, no. So like the scent boosters, you know, like you yeah. add it into your wash, to oh, it's your got laundry. Chemical. Yeah, yeah. So because I made such a natural laundry detergent, but I put those boot the scent boosters in it. Everyone's like, you just ruined it. You might as well just buy cancer and oh. da-da, just go. Oh, you can buy cancer. Buy cancer? Yeah. 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 That's Dude, nice. These ladies are going crazy over it, and they're like, one lady was like. Uh, way to go until you put that toxic garbage in it. And I was like, I think you're toxic with a garbage attitude. Ooh. Yeah. It's all but, about engagement. Punch yeah. out, punch yeah. out, punch out. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, that's all I've been doing is like, you know, commenting back to these ladies. And it's just, it. I have no idea, but it's just crazy. There's one profile that I see a lot and they do like construction, like construction uh, hacks okay. and they'll do it. And they're, Purposely doing it wrong. wrong. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> and then all these people will like, oh, that's the dumbest thing. Yeah, if I want to spill paint, and, and they all and, and like you idiot. Yeah. Like the engagement yeah. is what's blowing it up. They're doing this just so you, it's like um, setting the mousetrap. Awesome. It's that, all about comment. Yeah, that's like uh, people are like, you can't name a uh, color without the letter E. Yeah, and you're and like, then yeah, purple, yellow. red, yeah. blue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Um, I need to. I need a hack. I need to look up something. If you have a light bulb and the glass breaks, but the metal parts still I know. there, filament. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but I, it's. I don't think a potato is going to work. Uh, if that's the thing. Yeah, potato, yeah. Yeah, this, it's not potato. enough. It's not enough it, rigid edges yeah. in there to get the potato in there. I mm. saw one of the glue sticks where they melt the glue sticks and stick them in there and then pull it out because mm-hmm. uh, you can't turn it out. Is what like you can't unscrew it. Yeah, I can't unscrew yeah. it because wow. it broke in there. But it's not. It's not rigid enough to get a mm. potato to. You know, in there. Uh, make sure the light switch is on. Use a fork. No, no, no. no. That's I've a, read that I, in numerous. Stand areas. in a bucket of water. Yeah, what I'm trying that to it'll, avoid. It'll, it'll, it'll ground you. Very yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah. Jerk. <laughs> I'd say turn off the thing at the box and then use like needle nose pliers. Carmen, That's don't get technical do. with this. Yeah. 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 The There's the thing on the box. You know yeah. what I meant, though, right? <laughs> you knew what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Turn yeah. off your box. Your detergent chemicals are going to your head. Yeah. But you smell great. <laughs> Thank you. Well, now I do. Listen, I usually don't use them. This was the first time. That's how I made uh, Chamberlain's the uh, for the team because they're just gross, sweaty boys. Right. So I put scent boosters in it, and then Chad was like, could you make ours like that? It smells so good. <laughs> Can you, do you still have to take their uh, laundry to the car wash? No. So um, someone in the school, Chad finally got basically a washer and dryer for the locker room. Okay. So he can do it in the lock before he was doing it in the teacher's lounge, which was literally we we did it on our watch. It was over a half a mile walk. Wait, what do you mean he was doing it in the teacher's lounge? So there there's a washer and dryer, oh, okay. but it was in the teacher lounge, which was over a half a mile 
from from the football field. Jesus. So he was walking it back and forth. He had like a grocery cart that he would like push. Yeah. And he was doing that back and forth. So finally, someone um, in the school system got him a washer and dryer for the locker room, so he doesn't have to walk as far. And um, so he's still doing laundry. So this may be a dumb question. Is a head coach doing the laundry? Yes, because if you leave it up to the kids, it'll never get done. Uh, most There's only one other coach that's at the school that doesn't have an outside job. Mm-hmm. And you tried telling or asking Ian Beckles to do t- no, t- I laundry. Would, no, no. You know what I mean? Chad just rather do it himself. And on top of that, his classroom is right next to the field house where the laundry is. So he can do it in between classes. Uh, Spanish, not a dumb question you're about to ask, and I will ask it at the same time as you. Ready? One, two, three. Why Why? is there a washer and dryer in the teacher's class? class. What is that? What are they doing? So sweaty from teaching (laughs) kids. They're like, oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) These kids just (laughs) pit stains (laughs) and everything. They're like, I need to wash it. (laughs) No, we had one at school too, but I mean like the art... Uh, class would use it for like the smocks that they would put that the, the, that the kids <laughs> yeah. would wear any like uh, wipes if they have like rags or something in their classroom to yeah. clean things there's just like things around the school that you don't realize need to be washed yeah. that it's just easier to have one and honestly the, and <laughs> and there's actually some kids that use it to do their own laundry oh yeah that I saw that I on understand. the wire yeah. I saw that on the yeah. wire <laughs> no yes. yeah. so it's just one of those you know I mean a lot of these kids do not have access to a washer and dryer in their household they have to go to a laundromat or something sucks so, I've been there. I was there when I was a kid right so some of these so the kids that are seniors that have good grades that are actually good you know good students they're like the teachers will let them do their laundry there so they can actually have clean clothes <sighs> Nice. What a privilege. Trust me. me. T- I I told Chad at one point, I was like, you have to stop t- t- telling me bad stuff. I know. And start telling me good stuff because my heart is just breaking. Carmen, and I can't do anymore. My wife, when she first got into doing therapy, she worked with kids who were, um, you know, had some sort of uh, sexual assault or something along those like lines. Some kids that have been through trauma. Yeah. Family right. abuse. And she would come home, and she wouldn't obviously tell me who, but she'd be like, I had a kid today who was molested by her grandfather, and then I had this other kid today who was beaten up by the mom's boyfriend. I'm like, you got to stop telling me. You're going to make me kill these people. I'm going to end up being like Dexter, and I'm going to go out and find these people where they live and kill them. I don't want to know. You got to, yeah. and then I started thinking about writing a show where uh, where the husband of a therapist goes through the files, finds the abusive guys, and then goes out and kills them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. And I started That's, getting excited about it. it would, I, I hope if you do do that, it's way more violent than Dexter. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. My, Can I tell you the truth, Spanish? If you told me this is a guy who is repeatedly raping his his underage granddaughter, I, w- I would have no problem going over there and bashing his head in. But what if I went to the wrong house? Mm. Right. Uh, and I bash the wrong guy's head. Or I go... His name is Charlie. He's got brown hair, and there happens to be a Charlie next door and with brown hair, and I bashed the wrong Charlie. That's my problem. I don't think, I, you know, I feel like you had vetted out before. Uh, I'm very impulsive. Not. Yeah, That I do very know. Impulsive. That I do know. But yeah. uh, just ask him their name beforehand. Wait, <laughs> you know, I don't think. It's, it's two Charlies. I hit the wrong Charlie. I don't some have ID. a granddaughter. Yeah. Why are you hitting me? <laughs> It makes me think of the big Lebowski. You see what happens, Larry? Yeah. <laughs> he smashes the Corvette. Yeah. This guy looks like a loser. <laughs> nah, see, I just feel That's like what I happened don't... with uh, Phil, the Sopranos. Mm-hmm. He lives with his daughter, right? His daughter? What yeah. are you talking yeah. about? They killed the wrong guy. Oh, yeah. Oh. And that happened to Mr. In Between, too. Remember, he, yeah. he whacked the wrong guy and he had to go back and give the family money? Yeah. yeah. That's the problem. Oops. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too sloppy with that stuff. I'm impulsive and, and yeah. uh, I'm not very thorough. Yeah. Why didn't you get him? I was looking at Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. I must have looked at the wrong picture. I killed the wrong Charlie and two Squirtles <laughs> yeah. at all at the same yeah. time. Next thing you know, four Charlies in the same neighborhood show no, up dead. No. Uh, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025 are the phone numbers. I'll take your phone calls as they come in. Medicine Man, good morning. How are you? Uh, feeling okay. Yeah, I went to see the movie uh, Beetlejuice again. Uh, and how was it? It's a great movie. Have you seen it yet? It's a fun flick to see. It's kind of... Like, it's better than the first one, and it's kind of like part musical, kind of creepy, and a lot of fun to check this movie out. You've, you've gone twice but, now? Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's one of the coolest flicks I've ever seen, you know? Oh, well, one of the coolest flicks he's ever seen. I love Medicine Man movie yeah. reviews. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, and, of course, uh, your yeah. birthday's coming up Friday, and also Creed coming up Friday, too. Yeah. Are you going to go to Creed? 
I would love to call the creed. I don't have no tickets yet. Yeah, well, I, well, I got to imagine that. Medicine Man has gotten Mike a gift. You've known him all these years. He's done so much. I've given you so yeah. much. Yeah, I know. Your birthday's coming up Friday, and uh, of course, it'd be kind of cool if I'm out there at the Creed concert with you, you know? Uh, uh, maybe wait, you're telling me you, you want me to give you tickets for my birthday? <laughs> No, 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 no. It's just like I, could, I just like to be around, you know, celebrate with you out there, you know. Oh, what Aww. if we just celebrate afterwards? Uh, I'd be sleeping by then, you know. The concert will be over eleven o'clock. Yeah, you know, well, that's when we go out. You want. I'm telling you right now that if I show up at Creed and he's in your seat, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> no, no, I'm all I will leave. I'm I'm all all so hey, Gavin. Uh, Mike's yeah, Mike Mike tired. Go. Yeah. <laughs> it's his birthday. If I don't go, you can have my ticket. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, Galvin will come pick you up. All right. No. Yeah. yeah and also, also, I saw another movie called Speak No Evil, too. Cool. Yeah, you go to a lot of movies. Who do you go to movies with? Well, I'm my friend Jeff or by myself, you know. How many movies do you pay for when you go and see those movies? One and then just keep on going to yeah. different theaters? No, no, I'm on the AMCA listing. Uh, up to see up to three movies a week on this membership thing. You subscribe to AMC and you pick your movies out. You go in any format you can, like in Dolby, IMAX. Oh, and, uh, priorities. So as long yeah. as you don't have a job, you might as well be <laughs> yeah. watching three different movies. I was going to say, what time you hey, have to go to work today? Stupid that way, too, you know? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Medicine Man. Uh, so no gift. No <laughs> gift. Oh. Well, maybe go see a movie with him. <laughs> no. Yeah. Mike, how's the show? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Mike. Uh, real quick, is painting with tap out going to involve alcohol? What? Oh, painting, painting. with Pat Pat. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or drugs. One of the one of the oh, two. No, Probably both. Maybe. maybe. Mm. Okay. I, I plan on listening to it. I think it's going to be a. Oh, I thought you were going to drop some off. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I think I think uh, <laughs> Joe's going to Joe's going to. Uh, I don't know what he's going to think. He's going to tape a couple on Saturday, right, Joe? That's the plan. You All can right. just uh, sip a little paint thinner, and you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, by I'll the way, that. Mike, did you see your comedy hero is doing painting? Uh, oh, Peyton, Peyton Manning? Peyton, Peyton? Peyton, well, yeah, I saw that. I thought, I thought that was very funny. Yeah, of yeah. course she did. Is Medicine Man calling again? Uh, you just put him on hold. You oh. didn't hang up on him. You forgot to give him <laughs> his yeah. tickets. I've got to hang up because I was making my breakfast. What do you eat for breakfast? Uh, I'm having waffles, like, mm. uh, you know, the ones you get from Eggs. the bagel. Yeah. yeah. All right, enjoy your breakfast, Medicine Man. Yeah, there's cinnamon ones I like. Yeah, well, it's good to know. <laughs> mark mark that down. <laughs> yep. So we don't forget. <laughs> I don't know why. Ones. When you ask what he's going to have for breakfast, I expected him to be like, I just got some dirt from outside. Oh, he's the mm. most man. Yeah. He's not, he doesn't eat dirt. Listen, I've hung out with him. He's, he's awesome. No, you he's... posted that photo of us yesterday. Yeah, I was scrolling through my phone and I found that and I was like, that's appropriate. Oh, yeah. how many Medicine Man pictures do you have on your phone? Oh. Probably a couple less couple than hundred? Carmen. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I have a library of Carmen and a library of Medicine Man. Yeah, because I've got Medicine Man over the years. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> and they look exactly the same. Exactly the Wait. same. <laughs> I I've got to go back and I'm in some boxes. I'm almost positive I have a picture of Medicine Man with, with when I was like in high school. Oh, I'm sure I have a picture of him from Livestock too. Yeah, yeah, which it's, is probably it's when you were livestock, in high school. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I I've got I know I got to find I've got it in a box somewhere probably with a bunch of pictures. It's funny because in the beginning when I didn't know him, it was it was a little scary. Like, I didn't know what to expect out of him, yeah. you know? But now that I know him, it's, it's funny to me that where I was ever, like, Scare, yeah. intimidated well, by him. You make know? sure you save all those, because uh, next month you'll probably have to have him at his... Oh, you know, oh wow. So sad. In memorium? Yeah. I don't know, I think his birthday uh, just passed. What is he, 76 now? 852. Oh, man. And no, he's got to be, what, 73? I think he's older than that, because my dad's 75. He's my dad's age. Mm. Right? I thought he was younger than your dad. Maybe just a year, though. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah, they look very different. Uh, we have Thomas Rhett tickets to give away. I know that's a big deal to some people. Not to me. I couldn't care less. But if you want them, we're going to play Redneck Bingo, and we'll do that next on 102.5 The Bone. So you kind of look like Spanish, the coach from the uh, Dolphins. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Like every oh, once in yeah. a while, I look up at the TV, and I think I see the coach from the Dolphins in like, my nope. peripheral. Just this weirdo in front of me. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um. Uh, I saw, I read an article that one of you guys sent me that uh, Pete Davidson and jo Colin Jost Two uh, of my fellow Staten Islanders who were both on Saturday Night Live together hate each other now. Uh, oh, yeah. Sense. They will not talk to each other. They won't be in the same room as each other. Well, I think it was uh, <clears throat> like a week or two ago we had talked about they were doing a fashion show on the on the ferry. Boat, on the ferry. Yeah, it's one of the uh, fashion week things, whatever it was going to be on there. 
but uh, I, I don't see, know I what happened. Eh, I don't know how they were friends in the first place. Hmm. Uh, I think it's a matter of um, we're from the same neighborhood and we work together. Yeah. Just two Staten Island kids making it good, you know. But they seem like total opposite right. types, you know. Like Colin seems like put together, organized. Yeah, his family's rich. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, his family. Oh, I we talked that. to me. We had him on the air. He talked about. It. I said, look, there's. I, I could just tell uh, by what school he went to. I think he went to Stuyvesant, where he'd travel into the city and oh. to go to high school. Stuyvesant is a very rich sounding school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For yeah, real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. And yeah, I mean, Pete Davidson obviously seems just like a mess. Yeah, Pete Davidson seemed like he went to my high school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he right, really exactly. fell off. He was everywhere for a while yeah. and then just don't hear, hear much anymore. What well, else can he do though? When you've been when you've been at the top of the mountain, yeah. you have to yeah. fall down now, you know. So that's how it works, and he'll be back, you know, maybe. The cycles, man. Maybe. All I know is Kim Kardashian. He already won. He already won a lot of them. Kate Beckinsale. Oh, yeah. eh. oh. He got old Kate Beckinsale. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, she's still oh. hot, but she's no Kim Kardashian. Ariana I Grande. Mean, yeah. 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 Which, I don't know. I kind of, uh, I feel like that's easy now because the guy that she's with is a troll person. Yeah, you go do it. Yeah, you I can mean, get her. I'm down. I, I mean, you're I feel little, like I could. Like I would be person. so proud of you. I would yeah. be so proud. Yeah, I've I've been proud of you for the women that you've dated before. I would just, I think I would just, yeah, I would just go missing for like six hours and then I'd just call you and be Again? like, I'm oh, with everybody. Yeah, that's yeah, but this time <laughs> I, I have, have my shoes. shoes. <laughs> I um, have my shoes. I, I have been so proud of you and so disappointed in you. Oh, no. The highs and lows. With highs work? Lows. No, no. With, oh, yeah, with God. work, I'm mostly disappointed in you. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah. girls. Yeah. Girls. Yeah. You've, yeah. Been, you've blown my mind with some of the hot girls that you've gotten. Tell me about it. And then... Um, You've made me very disappointed with some yeah. of the girls that you've gotten. Yeah. It happens. Mm-hmm. Can't, they can't all be winners. Can we get an update? On what? Your love life situation? There is none. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, there is none. Mm. 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 Joe says different. I no, bet he what? does. I'm kidding. Mm. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Don't say anything. A lot I of people are saying things. Oh, muffled You are. always say that. A lot of people, there's some words. Yeah. I Always hear words. words. I hear talking. things. I, I hear words. things. I got words. A lot of rumors. A lot of eyes. A lot yeah. of listeners. Yeah. If the, if Say, did I see Spanish getting uh, out of this car doing this and that? Mm-hmm. Do you see my hair is growing back? I'm not itching anymore. There aren't any big red patches on oh, my so face. Oh, so you admit that was causing all your problems? Uh, it was some of it. Mm-hmm. It was some of it. I said that. It was some of it. I didn't say it wasn't anything. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. You know when Carmen is going after you. Yeah. It's Carmen always goes after That's me. your lawyer. She goes after me, then she sticks up for me. Hmm. No. I'm logical. Yeah. Well. What? I just want to count the silent <laughs> seconds. Oh. All right, let's what give some... What is this, a Mo show? Yeah. <laughs> 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 let's give some tickets away to go see uh, Thomas Rhett. Where is he going to be, Carmen? Oh, let me see. Was that in the email? Because I got updated. And I don't see that email. Uh, he's going to be at the AMP on September 25th, which is one week from today. All right, let's do it right now. A little bit of Redneck Bingo. Here we go. I don't forget tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I'm making the biggest concert announcement I've made on this station in probably 10 years. I'm I'm excited about it. I think that 90% of our audience will be excited about it. It is, uh, it's more than just a concert announcement. How about that? Okay. Woo. That's all I can say. Mm. I'm sorry, Carmen. It's a whole show. I mm-hmm. sorry, I lost my voice when I started talking. Um, so where are they going to be at? Mm-hmm. 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 You can't get me. What do you mean they? <laughs> How do you know it's not just a her or a him? Oh, or them? Hint one, Mike Kelta. Oh. What did I say? What did you I say? Said where she? You said where her? Her uh, she? So I girl. have never seen her live. Oh, is she too big to fly over the crowd? According <laughs> to Geo. <laughs> That would not be a very exciting announcement. No. I think so. <laughs> this one's way bigger than that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Way fatter. Oh, nope. Oh, my oh sorry. <laughs> I will tell you that she is fatter than all the members of this band. Oh, it's a band. Maybe. Oh. I said it was a girl five oh, minutes you're, ago. You're blue, I said it was a girl five minutes ago. You don't know what's real and what's not. But you'll tomorrow, find out tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Tomorrow at 7 a.m. Hmm. We're going to uh, send it to your beeper. So be ready. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Keep it up by your ears yeah. so you can hear it loud and clear. That is still the craziest thing. It's out of a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, but watching them explode was the best. Oh, yeah. man. Like, I wish we had more cameras on more of them. Uh-huh. Do you think that guy was just happened to be in front of that perfectly shot 4K ultra camera by accident? Oh, yeah. No, I don't, but yeah. Yeah. 
That was excellent. 3,000 right. people. Mike Hilda. Yes, dear. Uh, this is what I'm trying to tell you. We, uh, I was trying to get you to look at your phone. We do not need to take a break. This, oh. is, our la- this is our last one. We're going to the uh, end, baby. Oh, man. Oh. Bring it right <laughs> all the way home. <laughs> All right, well, then you take over. You want me to do it? Yeah. All right, guys. You just sing for a while. Here we go. (laughs) Ready? Break. What are the odds of you going to Creed? Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Can we bet on this? Galvin, are you taking bets? (laughs) By the way, did you see that? I had to put out yesterday that I was not making any bets. Uh, I had to to post a thing to let people know. I had so many DMs. You're paying people's mortgages. What's up for tonight? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody sent it to me, and I reposted it. I feel it. it's utterly irresponsible of you to, to to not put out these people depending on this. Listen, now to make, leave them want more. Here's the thing, also though, I don't want to just be putting out bets for the sake of putting out bets. I got to put some uh, thought process into this. I got to do some digging and doing All some right. stuff. So right. I don't want to just give you a bet to make a bet. I want you to win. Also. Galvin, oh no, I see you talking and I don't see and I can't hear you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can you hear oh, okay. Yeah. Woo. For a second, I saw I was watching the camera and Galvin's mouth was moving, but I did not hear anything. That made me nervous. Oh, <laughs> don't do that, Galvin. Crazy. That's very, <laughs> that's very scary over here. <laughs> um, Galvin, can I tell you? Ah. This is very impressive numbers. What's that? You started your account like what two weeks ago, maybe a week? Yeah, and when half? football started. Yeah, four. Thousand followers already. I know and, that's and wild, like, right? That is huge. And yeah. again, like four thousand, but four thousand followers in a week and a half. Yeah, well, yeah. That's do you think awesome. the Hard Rock is like, uh, hey, what are we doing? We're losing <laughs> yeah. money here. What, what changed? Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> yeah. Shut it down. Yeah. Uh, You're gonna get banned. <laughs> uh, but uh, somebody sent me a thing with Dave Chappelle. You know when he did his crack thing, whatever. Yeah. And it was, uh, you got any bets? <laughs> <laughs> got any bets? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, when will you be doing bets again? Uh, so I'm looking for today. I'll see what's uh, going on, but definitely Thursday. I'll do you know for uh, Thursday night football. Okay. I'm thinking Aaron Rodgers no. over two uh-huh. touchdowns. Oh. Brees Hall, anytime touchdown, Mike Calta not go to Creed. Oh, that's the right. three leg that's your parlay. parlay. That's yeah. parlay. <laughs> I can almost guarantee one of those. Uh, actually, I'll put 20 on that. I wouldn't put the Mike Calta one on. That's minus 24 million. <laughs> oh. So oh. you're not going to win too much on that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what? how do you feel about going to Creed? I am going to go to Creed if you're going to go to Creed and we're all going to go to Creed. What if you're not? What like, what mean? if I say, I don't think I want to go to Creed? All right, then I'll meet you at Hard Rock or whatever. You know? The only reason I'm going to Creed is because if everybody's going to Creed, mm-hmm. if I I don't care. You know, it's not you know me. I'm not a huge Creed yeah. fan, whatever. But we're all there. I'm like, all right, I'll rock out to a little Creed. All right, let's find. That's out. exactly how I feel. You're live on the air. Oh, what if we skipped Creed and we just went out? Yeah, cool. <laughs> ah! yeah. That was easy. Oh, you're right. I'm trying to figure. I woke up this morning. And I was like, I don't know if I want to go to a concert. Here, here's the deal. If it was inside, I'd be like, let's just go. Yes. It, we're gonna be. Tri- we're gonna need a change of clothes and a shower. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Help me, dear. Help All right. No. <laughs> I'm else? Down for whatever, though. It's birthday weekend. I know, but I, I don't really. I don't really Cancel. care about Creed either. I did for all this time, but for some reason now I'm like I don't Six care. Six months. If you're at the Hard Rock, you can. I love it. Then I look at it online and I look at the YouTube video, and they all just kind of like, okay, so yeah. just, you know. Like I'm too old. I mean, to it'll be, be cool though. Like, it'll be all right. right. That's it. We're all saying the same thing. Like if we go, yeah. it'll be cool. If we don't go, it'll yeah. be fine. No, there's, there's enough of us going to where I think it'll be a good time. Mm. So if I and made the good time, if I made the decision and I said I don't want to go to Creed, nobody's gonna be mad at me. No. If I said no, let's Galvin not go, might be. No, no, Galvin I'm doesn't not. care. He said he doesn't oh, care. Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. yeah. But who's opening? I don't know. We're not going uh, with that. Three doors down. Yeah. Oh. We're not going with three doors down. No. Jesus. No. <laughs> no, but but uh was Mighty Joe Plum on that card too. Hey, <laughs> don't knock Mighty Joe Plum. What is the alternative? Do we go to dinner? Well, of course. I mean, yeah. that's always the alternative. I'm not going to meat market again. Too many meat markets. Uh mm, all right. Where are then where to? I don't know. May I suggest Olive Garden? <laughs> We're just going to be blowing through money. What do you say? He said, May I suggest Olive Garden? <laughs> he loves Olive Garden. <laughs> loves the breadsticks. Mm. All right. Well, we'll work on all that out later. We'll figure that out. Yeah. So, so Creed's a no go? Well, let's think about it. Let's just let's nice. let's sleep on it. Wednesday. What's the weather say? Oh, that's Hot. a good prediction. Yeah. Hey, Siri. Uncomfortable. No. What is that? Alexa. Alexa. What's the weather for Friday? Good morning. 
It's <laughs> my Alexa goes, Good morning, Big Daddy. Good morning, Big Daddy. 91 degrees. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. All right, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Mm. All right, so let's just so let's just talk. So I know that you're you're mm, as uh, long as we're all hanging out, I don't care what we do. All right. Galvin's who, you're who, Paul won't care. Olivero will probably want to go to Bob and Chuck going? Yeah, but I think they're already going. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll call you later. We'll figure it out. All right. Call me back. All right, bye. Mm. Shocking. Mm. What's, your, what's your shock? <laughs> Just looks like it. I mean, how do you feel? What is your... What I is told you. Name? I mm. do not care. I am not a Creed fan. You're the one that was all excited that Creed, they're back. We're back, baby. Oh, say your name. Don't <laughs> ask you. Yeah, but then I realized I have you to do that. Yeah. I don't need to go to Creed. <laughs> I'll wear it. Listen, on Friday, I'll wear a button-down shirt and a leather wristband. I'll open my shirt. Yeah. And I'll Hell sing yeah. it for you. Right. Mm-hmm. We'll get it going. Oh, oh, oh. Have you been listening to Creed, no. Creed more lately no, no. to kind of get in the mood? No, it's not doing it for me. It's not doing it. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't feel like. Oh, man. I don't know. We were so excited. Spanish? Yes. You know, I know you and I have yes, coming I up? Yes, I do. What do you have? Lawrence, Lawrence on the 27th. We are going. Yes. I don't back out. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, no. You can't play this. This brings us down. Yeah. This makes me we need like what it. if or. <sighs> what is the alternative? Olive Garden. Dinner. Ooh. Hard Rock. Dinner. Yeah. Where are we going? I'm saying, where do we go? Where do we go to dinner? <laughs> dinner and dancing at Olive Garden. Oh. Dinner at the Hard Rock. <laughs> yeah. Suppresso. Ooh. Good. I mean, there's a lot of us. Asian place. They got that steak place. All right. Steak steak place. Place. I would love steak. to go to Council Oak. I Dude, want a steak yeah. so bad right now. I <laughs> made too. steaks last night, Carmen. I went to Prime Butcher and I got steaks. Oh, you ate yeah. them all? Yeah, tell me more. Yeah, yeah. And then I made <laughs> I made uh I made fillets Ooh. with some special seasoning. What kind of seasoning? Okay. I don't know. It was a special like uh I don't know. It, it looked like I had somebody's human ashes. Mm. Oh, it was, yeah, it was I mean, really granulated salt and pepper. You salt it, yeah. You, yeah. you let it sit for an hour before you put it on the grill. I did. Amazing. And uh, it was remarkable. Mm. The, in fact, that's what I'm eating for lunch today. That's nice. We're going to Outback today. Yeah, no rules, just right. I got. I, lo- I love how you think Outback's gonna <laughs> it's gonna quench that thirst. Satiate you. you Listen know. for me. It will. Have you been seeing like the viral like nine nine ninety nine kids meal steak? That keeps popping up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah be, and then you get and you get like a potato. You yeah, get like a, a side drink. and a drink for ten bucks. Yep. And I, yeah. Hey, listen, I'm telling you, kids' meals are the way to go if you're trying to save money and eat out. Yeah. I can't do that. Uh, Mike, how the show? Good morning. Hello, Mike. Hi, sir. Just trying to find out if I could get a, uh, tickets for uh, since your guys are not going. You know, I mean, like the tickets that we have. I, yeah. I don't know. I think I think the thing is, it's going to be a game time decision. So I think we got to hold on to the tickets right now. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, can you take me to Olive Garden at least? <laughs> what? What is that? I mean, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Hey, you know. Come on. Call us back on Friday. We'll see you on Friday. Thank you. I mean, I don't roll out. Everybody's gonna be like, "Who's a stranger?" I don't know. This guy just called. He was really nice. <laughs> no, I think his name is Kevin. <laughs> um. Can't I mean, I'm at Mm-mm. me, mm-hmm. Pete, mm-hmm. Paul, mm-hmm. Mike, mm-hmm. Olivero. That was, and then Galvin, and Gio, and Jan, and somebody else. So if nobody cares, out. You not. You were not out. going to Creed. You didn't say you wanted to go to Creed. Was Bob Murray? Well, but Bob's got his own tickets and his own oh, okay. thing. So yeah. you didn't say you wanted to go to Creed. Out. What? Wow. Spanish uh, on out air. show out. What's that? On air, I did. Well, listen, you can go to Creed. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> like a, plenty of tickets yeah. for you. We'll if we're you not there. there by the third song, just yeah. wait long. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Take wait till Hootie comes out. <laughs> Where's everybody? <laughs> we're in you, in, we're yeah. in Medicine Man. <laughs> we're going to need you to go on Instagram Live so we can watch them all eating dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish shows up and in Medicine Man. Oh, Spanish. <laughs> Do you have tickets? <laughs> Oh uh, no, if I don't have tickets. Just an empty uh, row with Spanish and medicine man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, you're we're gonna, next to each other. You're going to go? Do you care if we go or not? Uh, n- I will go if, you, if you'd oh, like me to go. The pantses aren't going to let you go. No, no, no. Oh, that's not. Listen, not I have things to do on Saturday. So it's Friday. 
I know it's Friday. What do you got? Another Edgar Allan Poe thing to go to? <laughs> no, no, no. I have a, I have the painting, uh, the painting, painting with painting, Pap Pap. Yeah, in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. What time is that? Uh, it's gonna be. Well, we're meeting at two, so I'm hoping that we'll be done by like four. Eight. Or so. What is the over under on that? Well, well I mean, if you're meeting at two, uh, <laughs> then you have to get the camera sideways, so that's gonna take a couple <laughs> hours. Upside Didn't down, Miller say he showed up at sideways. noon and they were done at five? <laughs> I can't believe Miller agreed to do this again. Yeah. He's oh, the one he's who asked doing, me. Uh, he's, this? He's, yeah. Oh, boy. I can tell you, he's very <laughs> nervous. So, what time do we it. go live to watch it? Uh, you, we're not you've gonna, talked we're not to Miller. Is that going to be live? They're yeah, going to tape, tape it. Yeah. yeah. You've, uh, you've uh, talked to Miller? Yes. Yeah. I, <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw Miller on Sunday. I went, someone was filming their comedy special. And uh, he was also filming that for them. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say. Why? Well, everyone was, we were all invited. Oh, we yeah. Ta- I we go. talked about this. So oh, I, I just I, don't remember. Okay. Well, we, you and I were both on his podcast. Johnny B. Oh, okay. I was yeah. reading Spanish's lips. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I went to. <gasps> are, I went are you to, serious? Johnny B's special name? No, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, uh, Beer with a Queer, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Fatty Gay. Yeah, Fatty Gay. Yeah. Well, that's what his special is called. Mm. Yes, it is. I um, wanted to go to that, but I, I could not. Very funny, and I have to tell you, the club that he did it at was so cute. Uh, yeah. it's aw- the Commodore, it was very cute. It was my first time there. It's like ten minutes from my house, so um, we went very good, very excited. But uh, Miller filmed that, and we talked about Joe's painting with <laughs> Pat Pat. Uh, <laughs> he, he's like, I think it's gonna be. <laughs> I believe in you, Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I literally Damn said, right. Yeah, I think it's probably gonna be like a one and done. Oh, but no, we're gonna no, try no, it. No, no. Lots of say things, Joe. <laughs> I have a question. So Miller is doing video? Yeah. For the video guy. Okay. Well, he's got paint. <laughs> yeah, Joe's a, Joe's a talent in this one. Plus, I, oh. Listen, I, I to taught you. Miller how to do video, okay? I, he worked for me for years. And now he's blown past you. And now uh, he's blown no, past no, me. No, and I'm no, retired. I, Set up no. a camera. Leave I, the old man alone. I do all my own video. Thank you very much. Good. Yeah, me too. Good. Yeah. yeah. Me too. I can't even look right. over there. Good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we are broadcasting right now. Spanish is not going to Creed, and Joe's not doing his own video. We've learned things. <laughs>